Oh, I messed oh. it up. I messed it up. It's all hold messed on, up. Hold on. I don't know. Yeah. It's so messed up. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Now it's so okay. fixed. Now it's so fixed. Well, I was watching on a delay. So. Oh. Yeah. Yes. What yes. up? What up? What up, YouTube? YouTube, YouTube. Hey, look at our special guests. You may remember yo, our yo. special guests. <laughs> it's so good to be here with you guys. What's up, everybody on Twitch? What's up, you watching at home? You're in for a special show tonight. This is going to be a real treat. What's up, guys? How you doing? Good. It's so good to good. see you, Greg. Good to see you, Greg. It's good to Hi, be seen. Greg. It's good to be is it here. Good to be, is it good, good to be seen? Are you being seen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't leave the house surgery, much, you know, so can you hear me good? Can you hear me good? I can hear you great. I can hear you great. I do. Speaking of hearing things before we get, you know, into the, the, the nuts and bolts of the show. I, I will, so here, here's the thing. I've been going through and putting these shows on the, on the VOD. And so I've been going to look through like some of the stuff where we watch a trailer three times in a row and trying to clip that out. And some of the audio is really bad and uh, we can't hear us. So I, I'm going to put that on chat because normally you guys are very good being like, we can't hear you. This is too loud. So, you know, let us know. Sometimes there's an echo and I'm like, what the fuck? And I appreciate, I, I love how in all the other shows, uh, it's Timmy, fine. When, when Timmy has an echo, you have a thousand people yelling echo. When we have an echo, no one cares. <laughs> yeah, we got a patient. We got a patient audience. That's cool. And, you know, uh, everyone in the uh, everyone in the audience, I love and they're all very supportive. So a lot of them are supporting me and wanting me to take my mask off. Do you guys think it's time? Should I take it off for the rest of the show now? I mean, I heard the mask mandate has been lifted in a lot of cities. All right. Here we go. Hey. All right. That was good. That was a fun hey! day. Oh, whoa. Good to be here with you guys. I'm sitting in between you guys. It's fun. It's like we're all on the couch together. I'm ready. Yeah. It's been a while since we've all been on the couch together. It's been a while. I know. All right. So, wait, I'm going to I'm going to drop some rough artwork in the chat uh, for Nate. If you want, you can show this. If not, I mean, you don't have to show this and watch. Uh, but this is like I, I, you know, making these flyers. It's a journey and there was a point where I was going to use this artwork and I'll, I'll use it, put it in the, the Twitch chat um, or not the, the Zoom chat. Um, all right, let me just <laughs> okay. one second. Here we go. Here we go. And then you can show everyone or do you want I could do share screen, but that'll screw everything up here. I just I dropped it in the 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 chat you can show the the audience this rough artwork for the show i think it's beautiful uh but yeah this is this is some rough artwork and then at some point i was like this would be cool if it was a book cover and then the artwork didn't look as good as a book cover but then i committed to the whole book cover look for the flyer uh but I thought I thought this this looked cool, so I wanted to show it off. Uh, for th two out of three of us, this looked cool. I think one person might not be as so pleased with how it looks in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that is a cool <laughs> cool look. What is this? I look what like a thumb. I, I look like a thumb it. with a beard. You gotta oh look on the stream. God, Nate, what happened to you? I know. <laughs> Nate, what is that? Oh my God, are you okay? Uh, <laughs> it looks like Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, Nate the Hutt there. Yeah. yeah. I nice. feel like you look like yeah, yeah. a real beefsteak. Well, you look like you wreck shop. <laughs> I wreck shop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your? It's your beard. Your beard, you know, like really takes any profile away from your face. Yeah. Nick Rock Lobster says Nate looks like Baron Harkonnen in that. Yeah. Harkonnen. Harkonnen. <laughs> uh, yeah. I look very. Harkonnen, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. That's I look like I'm from I look like I'm from Getty Prime. <laughs> um That's hateful. Yeah. Uh that's hateful. I do no, want to say na- that's nateful. Um, why don't you explain what we're doing here, Sam? All right, we're, we're, we do a show every Sunday night. It's kind of like the show we do on Saturday night, but way less people show up. Uh, with our, our Sunday <laughs> night show also has a really cool uh, feel to it. We watch trailers that you, the audience, submit, and we give it points. And... If you if you get enough points, you're involved in the tournament of champions of tra- trail pins, uh, and yeah, uh, we're getting close. We're getting close, but we judge the three of us. Usually, there's two of us, but the three of us, we have the opportunity to give it one or two points. So it's a total of six points, and you, the audience have the opportunity to vote on it yes or no and we go off the Goobywood scale based on the percentage of you that vote yes how's the Goobywood scale go nate i dropped uh, that graphic <laughs> hold on i had to make a whole new scene for us all right i got this Goobywood points scene go wow it's really big <laughs> So, uh, so found trailers. I mean, like, but the trailers are on a theme. Every every week we have a theme that you go off of, and if it's off theme, if it's horribly off theme, you get. We just go. Oh, uh, that's off theme. I didn't see how that fit the theme. Skip. Here's the points graphic. Here's the points graphic. You can explain the points now. Uh, yeah. So zero to twenty five percent zero points that's these are yeses uh if uh 25 to 50 percent vote yes that's one point 50 to 75 percent vote yes two points and 75 percent to 100 you did a great job because you get three points and 100 percent is four points right but we've yeah, only had sure, that why one, not? Once, twice. oh yeah another thing about this it's all bullshit we don't care. <laughs> We're fasting. This isn't the fucking NFL. We're not changing the rules every season and voting on it and having people be upset about us. The be upset that there's you, you can't challenge a penalty. There's you know we just go for it and pay a you what the progress has been on Mars. It's going well. I don't, I don't know, man. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> uh, we're, it's not done yet, but we're almost there. Uh, all right. Um, so <laughs> my, my Greg Johnson graphic is up. Just remember, if you're going to oh, Google snap. our friend Greg Johnson, comedian Greg Johnson, he's the Greg Johnson on your socials, not the white nationalist Greg Johnson. That is not who we have here. Oh, this is a hot button issue for me. Okay. okay? <laughs> for you. You fired me up. You're probably going to fire up everyone in the chat. No, of course that's not me. I'm the Greg Johnson, the number one who's appeared on TV shows like Why Does Kids You Know and other stuff like that. Nate, is that right? Can you vouch for me, Nate? Come on. What the fuck is is a bicycle? Because you also have been on Fox News' Red Eye. That is true. (laughs) (laughs) So that gets, it gets foggy, you know, it gets blurry. No, it doesn't. Two people watch that shit. (laughs) I'm I'm about world peace, if you know me. And there are a hundred thousand other Greg Johnsons. I get emails for them sometimes. Wait, you were were, were on uh, Fox News with uh, the White House snitch, right? John Bolton? Yeah. 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 John Bolton and I, we had a few Nathan's hot dogs together in Midtown. You know? I thought I could talk him off the ledge. And I actually did, okay? I'm a liberal, okay? I'm kind of one of these, you know, independent voters, independent thinkers. I met John Bolton. He was ready to drop nukes. And I talked him in off the ledge. This was 2016. 
Oh, wow. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I just want to make it. Yeah, so uh, we're off to a funny start. You know, <laughs> well, well, you know, our chat has Google. And so when you were on the flagship with Trevor, we noticed like that was one of the first things people were asking. And so I just wanted to make sure that everyone oh got God. the distinction. You know, our that that makes Google? that makes that my stomach churn. Yeah. Now, you guys also have very common names, but to hear it associated with that particular thing, I'm going to ask all of your fans all of your the people watching on twitch right now you at home i'm gonna ask you one thing help me greg johnson to go to number one over the current number one who's the wikipedia nationalist or whatever he is help me go to sure. number one you thank you you thank you everyone make make posts about greg johnson comedian slash white nationalist no, 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 no! Don't no. even put white nationalists in it. <laughs> white, why? I, I, You're gonna I make it worse. Attention. I wasn't paying attention. No, it's a different guy. I'm sure it'll all come out in the wash. <laughs> But wait, Greg. what the fuck is a comedian? <laughs> what, yeah, the, what, what the fuck, fuck is a white nationalist? Wait, wait, what? Uh, uh, fuck that. You're you're white, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what TV show were you on? Yours? <laughs> you, are you talking about your TV show? show? It was yeah. you. And Fox News. <laughs> Yeah, Greg. I'm sorry. It doesn't look good for you. Sam's <laughs> Sam's going well, with the. If it looks I'm like a go dark away dark. for a long time, then <laughs> I'm not that guy. Okay, I'm not him. I'm a thousand miles away from that guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so last week's theme. <laughs> Last last week's theme was technology gone wrong, and we had a great trailer from that. Uh, and this was some, you know, a lot of times we have the trailer is like the trailer of the week. It's something that's silly. This one was actually just a fucking rad trailer. So how about we 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 dive in and we watch it, right? Yes, let's dive Do in. Do you want Do me it. to boot it up? Boot it up. Alright. And we'll send out the the link to my own Wikipedia page to make it jump ahead of that other yeah. guy's page. Because I, I can't have that. You know, I'm the Greg Johnson from Trevor Show. I'm the Greg Johnson from Trailer Boys, okay? That's this yeah. guy. And that's the fun thing about Wikipedia is that anyone can update it. And you can put whatever you want about Greg on that oh well let's not go there let's let's <laughs> take a look at the first trailer sam let's do it trailer boys happy to be here i'm the number one greg johnson in the world everyone check out my comedy album it's called greg johnson one it's a great comedy record i will say that too it is very funny. and uh, other thing about greg johnson one thank you nate the i took the album cover photo on my phone backstage yes. at backstage it was in a hallway at a whitest kids show <laughs> Like we were playing at a school in New Jersey and I remember Trevor was like, I think that that his cover's genius. He just got a photographer to go to some school with him. And I was like, dude, you were there. That was the show we played together. Yeah. Unbelievable. Like, yes. If if people go and they look, look at Greg Johnson one my comedy album, the cover art, so to speak, is Sam's photo. Sam took that. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, Nate, for saying that you like the album and everyone else. Thank you for putting Greg Johnson one. What the fight fuck is a bicycle? Number one. Sorry. <laughs> Over that other guy. What the fuck is that other guy? That guy sucks. <laughs> All right, we ready, we ready for the trailer? People have asked a little further away from the mouth, but we're good. All right, um, yeah, play the trailer. <laughs> I, I am having a weird thing with this app again. Um, let's try Is it. Is it playing? Is it not playing no, for you? it's not playing for me. Hold on, let me reload. I don't know why this doesn't work. Or why, you play it. You play I'm it. I'm trying, yeah. Off to a good start. Why don't you vamp that up? 
All right. Uh, we'll look at the leaderboard pretty soon. Just uh, one thing to quick note about today's show yeah. is oh. that the way the season works is that we go until someone hits 100 points. Right now, I think it's Flanja. Is that who? who? Yeah, I've just put it up on the stream, and I have all 10 people up there now, so you can see everything. Oh, wow. We got Flanja at... Is that... I don't think that's up to date. You don't think so? Flange's at 88 yeah. points. Because I thought Flange was at 88 last week and got like four points or three points. No, remember, because I, I decided not, we didn't choose one of his things. We skipped oh, it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so Flange. Oh, so I thought Flange would be able to. F All right, did you just start the trailer? No, uh, why is it playing for you? Yeah. This thing is popping up with like a. Um, it's like asking me to open a. I don't know. Some Something's going on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you want guys. me to make a new room? Sure. Oh, wait. You just play it, started playing it. So that's the thing is on my screen, it's doing that thing where it's like it can't play. Oh, gosh, weird. darn it. Because it's the same video we've watched before. It's, uh, it's asking me. Oh, wait. How about now? It almost started. It's asking me to sync it or something. Does that make sense? Hold on. Yeah, it might be syncing with ours. I'm going to try a different browser real quick. I'm sorry, guys. Let me you know, don't be sorry. It gives me an opportunity to thank Sam again. <laughs> a little bit for, further away from the mic. Okay. Uh, Sam, thank you again for taking the photo that appears on Greg Johnson 1. Uh, wait, talk right there. Let's figure this out. <laughs> oh, my mic is like right here, right? Can you hear me now? But I mean, like, I think you should be comfortable. You, I don't think you should be holding it the whole time. I Unless know. you have like those things that like British... Uh, you know, like the the British, British announcers at at, uh, at football games, they have like a thing yeah. on their mic that they can like. So they just put their mic up to their their mouth, and it's always the perfect distance away. Yes. Is this that Zach guy that? Imagine they figured this out. Nymix, we do figure this out beforehand. The, the funny thing and was, there, there's, we did a test run so and it many... was like working. It was yeah. working. I swear, guys, I swear. All right, I'm ready. I mean, that that's pretty quick for, you know. You ready? Does anyone know what I'm talking about with the, the British guys? They have the thing that like... Yeah, I'm ready. commentators for sports. All right. Commentators, they have like a thing that, that, that goes right up. Like, you ready? Oh yeah, you sound I'm British. Great. You sound great. You mean a duck bill? Oh, is that what that's Why called? Why would anybody watch a scum show like Video Drone? Why did you watch it, Max? Business reasons. Sure. What about the other reasons? All right. So, can you hear the trailer, but also hear us at the same time? Because that's what we're Max looking for. Red is a victim. Uh, I woke up with a headache. He has been exposed to video drove. I've been hallucinating for a while, ever since. What? Since yeah, okay. As long as, what about Sam? Can you hear Sam? Can you hear Greg? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Are you watching this trailer, Greg? Yeah, I, I think love that it. Massive doses of video drone signal will ultimately produce. And control Did anyone go out and watch this movie last week the point that after the show, the if they hadn't seen it before? Soon, his visions will coalesce and become uncontrollable flesh. Ooh, nice. Videodrome is seducing Max Wren. Sick. It's seducing I Greg Johnson, too. Come to me. The effect with the uh, TV screen with the static coming out, I think, is like the coolest thing. Normality. Television can change your mind. Videodrome will change your body. 
it's it's funny because I would expect like that the movie to have all this animation in it, and it doesn't have any of yeah. like it. There's a lot of animation in this. Starring Deborah Harry and James Woods, a shocking new vision from the creator of Scanners, coming soon to a theater near you from Universal I'm Pictures. So Swingle says this is a win- This is his winner from last week, and it's an eight-point trailer. He knows he was in the fifties for points at the beginning of last week, so he's pretty sure he should be in the sixties this week. We'll look into it. Um, let me see. Well, this has been a wild ride so far. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Uh, so, coming attractions. I wanted to do something different, and I wanted to. On theme, I, I wanted to, to ruin a movie for people. Uh, watch a scene what? that that spoils a movie for people. I didn't want to ruin it for people. It's because I like it and because uh, it ties into Videodrome and uh, uh, it, it has to do with the, the sad news that was just announced or, or today. Is that uh, William Hurt has passed. Oh. William Hurt has passed, and uh, in, in sort of a, a tribute to William Hurt, have you guys seen the movie History of Violence? Dude, yes. I've seen that like three times, and I've definitely seen it with you. I look like I'm on the couch with you guys with my hands on your, on your shoulders now. I'm like, William Hurt passed on? Oh my peace. Tell me what I gotta do to make Sad peace, news. Right? You could do something, I guess. You could die, Joey. There's a lot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Is this your favorite part? William Hurt is so good in this movie. And he's in it for like five minutes. How do you fuck that up? How do you fuck that up? Oh no. What are you gonna do? Give him mouth to mouth? Did you see my brother? Fucking leave this and let's just kill that little fuck! What's up, Penwell? William Hurt passed away, and so we're watching Sam's favorite scene from a William Hurt movie. <laughs> Duh. Uh, he did have a good accent in this. It was like a Philly accent. Yeah. The Philly accent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this movie rules. I, I don't... I have to watch it again. You got to Do you like this schedule. better than Eastern Promises? Yeah. I think they're Wait, both East- very good. I like this better though. Jeez. Do you mean Eastern Jeez. Promises the movie or like the promises of Oh, never mind. Oh. Is that distasteful that we we just watched that? <laughs> I put the spoilers up. <laughs> I said going into this that, it, that this was a spoiler. Hey, everyone. 
So I'm just, giving it up to everyone in the chat. Everyone is, in the chat is killing it right now. I love these. I love all these people. <laughs> Such a strange light. Amazing. I like when he eats puss on the stairs. <laughs> Yeah. I, I do remember that part. That was like yeah. real graphic. Yeah. Gasfire Films wants to get down. Uh, okay. Ooh. Okay, Sam. Do you have coming attractions? No, that was it. That was what oh, I have instead it. of coming attractions. Okay. Well, that's that's okay. I, I, do you want to t- tell you, everyone what the theme is? Yeah, it's uh, Before They Were Stars. And before if you were it's... here for the pre-stream and you heard the music playing, it was also on theme because it was all bands, famous musicians were in before their band. So Bjork, we had the Sugar Cubes. We had uh, Billy Idol's band, Generation X. Um, I forget what we played, but it was a whole list of stuff that was... Panini Sweetie says, I guess we'll call that going attractions. Oh, oh. boom. Oh, that's a little mini, sweetie. <laughs> uh, no. I'll give you that. Um, <laughs> should you? Okay. What are we oh, actually. Next? Wait, I, I didn't know that there was a a freaking Star Trek trailer. I didn't either. Should we watch the Star Trek trailer? I I would always watch a Star Trek trailer for you. Yeah. It might be fake, I don't know. Probably. Let's hold on. I'm gonna do the coming attractions just because I like hitting this button. Oh, it's backwards. How did I do that? How did I fuck that up? Mm-hmm. It says two pelvis yonking. I don't know. I fucked that up. <laughs> Somehow. Right. That's backwards. No! See, it says you appear to be offline. What the hell does that mean? All right, there we go. Now it works. Star Trek Strange New Worlds is what it's called. Oh, is this the one about Pike? Please be about Pike. Pike. Captain Pike. Chris. Is that Travolta? Chris Pike. He's an actor. Chris Pike. He's one of the Chris's. It is! No matter how many stars there are in the sky, no matter how many galaxies swirl, is Rebecca Romangen Stamos in this? She's not no Romaine what Stamos. The mathematical probabilities or the yeah, she's uh, Rebecca Romaine O'Connor. Alone in the universe. Not that she is that, but she's married to Jerry O'Connor. Our first visit from the stars. I think this is her voice. It's always the province of children. Jerry O'Connor. So, O'Connor? O'Connor. O'Connell. 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 So if you're into Star Trek, Star Trek Discovery had some cool seasons. Now it's like really weird, like way in the future. But there was some seasons that had Captain Pike. And it was amazing because it referenced TNG like all over the place. So it was good. Uh, uh, that was I my forgot there trailer. Was, the, there was another trailer that I wanted to show this week. I totally forgot about it. And it's a trailer to a movie that we it's like the full trailer to a movie that we already watched a trailer for. Lobaka, even more way in the future. All right, Sam, I'm ready when you're ready. This is the Red Band trailer, so... What's the worry here, Nick? You've lost some of your talent as an actor? No. You. <laughs> what did he say? He says he loves you, but he went in a different direction. I'm done. I'm quitting acting. Tell the trades it was a tremendous honor to be a part of storytelling and myth making. Ah, oh, fuck, man. I'm driving through the hills. I'm sorry. One more time. We got another offer. It's a million bucks. It's to attend a wealthy gentleman's birthday party. I would never do that. It's the easiest gig ever. You play yourself. What do we know about this guy anyway? Is he into something strange? It's not like he's gonna want you to suck his dick or fuck his wife or watch you watch him fuck his wife. I wouldn't think so. 
Cage. Welcome to Mallorca, Mr. Cage. The guy that owns this house, what's his name? Javi. Is Javi gonna want me to, uh... Claim Javi. Nick Cage. It's a lot of rings. Yeah. God, this place is stunning. What is your favorite movie? That's one of those questions that's impossible to answer. You can't just limit it to one. Imagine me and you. Don't trust people with that many rings. It's too much. Okay. Is this supposed to be me? It's grotesque. I'll give you 20,000 for it. We could have died! <laughs> I'm in position. I think that's the actor Nick Cage. Nick Cage? I love you! Have you seen Croods 2? I'm 44 years old. Why the fuck would I see Croods 2? I've seen Face Off and Con Air. What do you guys want? We're with Central Intelligence. Do you know who you're spending time with? One of the most ruthless men on the face of this planet. I need you to help the U.S. government. Find a way into that room, Nick. I can see myself doing more of this stuff. I think I might have a real gift for it. Good, because we got another mission for you. No, 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 no. Does Ike Barinholtz play the U.S. government? Don't lie to me. Are those my golden guns? They're my golden guns. I don't want to kill you. You're the last person I want to kill. I love you. I love you. I'm Nick. Fucking! Whoa, Cage! Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Abby Sally says, "I can't tell if this movie cost four million or four hundred million." <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a really good observation. <laughs> I thought, I thought it was fun to watch that trailer just because uh, uh, we watched the trailer before and it, it shows very little about what the plot is and uh, that looks like it's a dumb, stupid plot. What what movie does he have the like long blonde hair in? I feel like that's like a, face off. a specific movie. Is that Face Off? Is that what yeah. he looks like Face Off in that moment? Or did we just get raided or something? Or are we just, we just cooking? Why? We're at 2.35, baby. Whoa. Yeah, baby. Guys, it's, it's an honor to be on Trailer Boys. I think now might be a good time to show off my T-shirt just real quick. Is that cool? Yeah. Let's see if it... Whoa. <laughs> Walter Matthau autograph. Walter Matthau. Headshot. What does the autograph say? It says, to my best friend, Greg. No, I don't know. <laughs> It's like to the number one, it says to the number one Greg Johnson in the world. And that's me, baby. I love and it. And I signed his headshot. I signed Walter Matthau's headshot back and we put it on a t-shirt. And my signature said, what the fuck is a bicycle? Boom. <laughs> and he Greg was very Johnson, not a white nationalist. <laughs> no, I'm the, I'm the comedian and media personality. Jeez. And you can follow him here on social medias. There's his look at this there. face. Tell me I'm not Greg Johnson. Look at this. I mean, you're a <laughs> Greg Johnson. Yeah, that's and you're, true. You are you are the Greg Johnson. Okay, on, on Instagram, the Greg Johnson. Th thank you guys. So, folks, uh, th today's topic is before they were stars. This is like people's like early early roles uh and yeah uh you can submit right now to miserylovesus uh please when you do submit add some context uh cuz the context is fun and it helps us pick movies do you want us to kick uh, one off do you have one yeah let, let's kick one off uh, i have one if you don't have one okay I think I'm going to say, I'm going to preface this. This is where we start the show, but um, I'm going to say, I think, oh yeah. Somebody pointed out, Danis says, don't submit Taming the T-Rex. We've watched Taming the T-Rex a bunch of times. So, and it's great. I don't know if I'll pick it, but I want to, I'm going to submit this. I think this is a movie that Sam and I genuinely love and have loved since it came out.
It's hard to show I'm the in. world what you're made of when you're allergic to just about everything. I'm allergic to diapers, oh. Oh, TOS. scissors, grass, <laughs> even my parents. <laughs> and then I met Chloe. But she's about to marry the wrong man. You know, Mark? Well, the wedding's this Saturday in Niagara Falls. And I have to stop her. So now, I'm gonna go out into the world and win her back. And nothing is gonna stand in my way. Wow. This is awesome! It's his first time out in the world. Oh, you remember this song? The girl I love is getting oh, yeah. married, and I have to stop the wedding. That's so, so beautiful. I too once loved another. He did? And with a little help from his new friends, he just might find a way ah! this is awesome! to make his dreams come true. You didn't get Sick. out of that bubble room to play it safe, did you? Yeah! He's got the dreamers to see. Go for it. This is great! <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Jake. Not okay. Not okay. Problematic. Time out. Not okay. Jake Gyllenhaal. I forgot that he should be canceled from this movie. <laughs> guys. Yeah, boom. We just canceled Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, <laughs> can we go back to mispronouncing his name? <laughs> uh. Professor Mars says he's Asian, so it's okay. All right. Mark, he's Martha, Asian? you speak for no. everybody. Oh, oh, Professor Mars is Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... I thought you were going to be like, know? he's Asian? Um, he's Filipino. I thought you were going to draw the lines no, there. No, I was no, like, oh, no, Sam! No, no. <laughs> I was like, I know he played uh, an Arabian man in uh, Prince of Persia. <laughs> Also problematic. Wow, cancel Jake Gyllenhaal. You know, Jake Gyllenhaal first. played my cousin in that movie. Um, he was in with Anne Hathaway. Uh, it's based on a book that uh, my cousin wrote. Drugs and another movie of it, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh yeah, oh. is that true? That was your cousin. Yes, the movie is called Love and Other Drugs. Interesting, interesting. Mm. But we're not going to watch that trailer. I, I have. Well, I keep going with your program, please. I'm I think that show, movie guys. does have a crazy nude scene in it. Yeah, it's not. Um, I know it's not on your program, so I, I don't mean to derail anything. But oh, no. bring that later. All anecdote, and uh, you know, GFY. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Uh, uh, what's that movie with McConaughey and Dinklage oh no no it's with Gary uh, I'll get to it I'll get to it oh, oh, I, I know what you're talking about uh, yeah, it's uh, sure uh, tiptoes small feet or something tiptoes, tip-toes. here's the thing that would be off topic because everyone in that <laughs> was a star I guess Dinklage yeah. I think that's the one that that could uh, Greg, a funny tiptoe story is our mom saw that and was like, this is crazy stuff, and then bought it for Sam for Christmas one year. Yes. Thank <laughs> she you, was Kathy. like, yeah. That she's, is awesome. She gets the Trailer Boys vibe. She can see some hard garbage and be That's like, That's amazing. <laughs> awesome gift. Yeah. Heroic. <laughs> Greg Tiptoes Johnson. All right. So Bubble Boy got a 58% no. So below the cut. Wow. Ooh, all right. So that's that's one point for Bubble Boy. I love that movie. Um and I I thought the trailer was kind of weak, but it's it's kind of like an adventure movie, so it it looked weird enough for me to be like I would watch that, but it wasn't like I it, it was tepid. I'm going to give it one point. I'll also give it one point. Greg, what would you give Bubble Boy the trailer? Uh zero being the worst. Yeah, you can give it zero. Yeah. I'll give it a zero. Okay, so that is f- three points to Sparkle Pound Eye. All right, I am. This actor recently said it was uh, that it was bullshit 
that uh, there was some poll that was like, Jonah Hill has swore the most in any movies. And he thought it was wrong. Is this William Hurt again? Yeah. You know, I think uh, you could tell a lot about a woman by the kind of bed she sleeps in. Now this freaky bed says to me that you are one hot natured freakazoid. I'm very familiar. I don't know why you can't see this man. It's really? Crazy. She is a murderer. My family, oh, that's family and I watch it every Christmas. No! <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne Wayne from Yeah. I'm 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 sort of kind of taking a break right now. Well tell me, Joel, how does one just simply take a break from God? Bless it! There he is. There we go. There he is. That endureth temptation. This is early Samuel Jackson. Amazing. Joel is the last one of his life. Wow, he had hair and all that. You had hair in Jurassic Park. Going to be over. Did he have hair he gets, in? Just I guess he was nine? balding. I guess he's balding in both those. Hard eight. How old was he in this? I don't have time to explain the whole thing, so please. That's right here, Raheem. Um, yeah, yeah, this right here, Raheem. That's holy water that's just been blessed. <laughs> it looks like firecrackers. <laughs> oh, that's rad. That mask with the eyes? Sam Jackson was about 42 now, that in 1990 when this movie came out. No way. People, man. <laughs> There you go. You can get the Ooh, limited, limited slip That's cover. Cute. <clears throat> Thank I like you, that. Vinegar Syndrome. That is <laughs> Vinegar Syndrome has some good trailers. <laughs> Do they recut trailer. trailers? Are they like new trailers? No, I mean, uh, uh, like just the movies that they put out. I don't know if that was recut. This it wasn't my favorite trailer, but I thought it was like a cool, a very cool looking movie. So I'm going to give it one point for that. Is Vinegar Syndrome like an Alamo where they like find old movies that were forgotten and then like re-release them? I think so. I think so. And they, they, they always like, whenever, like, I, I, it looks like such like a cheap title card, title card, the Vinegar Syndrome title card that, uh, but I've come to be like excited to see it. Um, <clears throat> Got my water. So the po the the um tra the poll is up now. Yeah. Steve will say, was that a trailer? Just a bunch of random scenes in the movie. I I kind of have to agree. It did seem very like yeah. random scenes from the movie kind of thing. I mean, that's what I, that's what I'll say is I wasn't a fan of the trailer. I was a fan of the what the movie looked like. Um. um so that's why I think I, if it was a better trailer, I would have definitely given it two points. I I want to do a thing, and I, I know we uh, I'm trying to integrate our rabbit holing a little bit better into the show. Um, let me see. Let me hit this. It's sixty percent. Yes. So that's a wow. two point trailer from the chat. One from me, uh, Greg. I'm gonna say one as well. One. And Nate. <laughs> Zero. Oh shoot! Oh, so it didn't hit the, anything. So for the me. Bubble Boy trailer, even with the uh, the pure unadulterated racism, uh, you gave one point. Okay, it's fair. You know, it's fair. It's fair. Yeah, it's fair. I just I didn't feel this again. Like like it's 
Resident Steve will put it in perspective when he was like, is this a trailer or just a bunch of random scenes for the movie? So I just didn't think it was a good trailer. Um, I do want to point out, so I did, you know, my IMDb rabbit hole here. So I like looking at some of the posters now and you can see that this is probably the original poster or an early poster. Um, but <clears throat> so here's like the VHS cover So you can see at a certain point, <laughs> They put Samuel L. Jackson like front and center on the box, and uh, it is yeah. It, it didn't look like he was in that movie a lot, you know. Dude, he's I, not. I know so it, I was so. gonna say this. He's I have seen that movie once, and he's only in it for a scene. So it's one of those. That is pretty funny <laughs> that they redid it like that. <clears throat> anyway, um, so Sam, who submitted that? And how many points did they get? By temptation, uh, Nick Rock a Lobster gets hey. a total of four points from Sam, Greg, and Chad. Sagumas has di- gifted a sub Nick, to the sports I say bra. Thank you for sending that in. That's you. The sports thank bra you. is that you, Greg? Greg, yeah, you so, just got uh, in the chat. I'm the sports bra. A sub. Somebody just gifted you a sub. Boys. Yeah. And now I'm sports bra. Anyway, I'm up in the chat. Hit me up. Hit me up on IG. Thank you. And it's thank you, Sagumist, for voice. the gift sub for Greg Johnson. Um, Greg, it is uh, it is your turn to choose a trailer. And so you can also what? you can you can um, look at the spreadsheet and just give us the number and uh, I will we'll put it in for you. So just be like, if you see one you like, just number it up. Oh, okay, just any number before. Okay. Um, uh, we're looking anything after 2,229. We have a lot of trailers amazing. submitted this season. This is great. And I want to thank everyone again who submitted trailers because these are all awesome. Um, <laughs> Schlitty Twitch see, says, uh, just hopped on and immediately see some Greg arm movements. All is right in the world. Yes. Amazing. I love it. Everyone loves trailer. the Greg emoting. Does anyone okay, know if they're still with, doing uh, the movie? Two, two, four, one. Yeah. Someone, yeah. Two, two. Someone submitted Black Phone, which is a movie that comes out this year. So uh, it's probably not on theme of before they were famous. Because uh, it's it's like, I don't even think it's out. Is it out? I'd be like, look, take my word for it. People in this movie are going to be huge. It is on theme, and you're an asshole if you don't choose this. And but then also the the comment is Jim Carrey being scary, and it's uh, Ethan Hawke in the movie. <laughs> well, we have talked about Ethan Hawke. I do love Ethan Hawke. Again, some yeah. people in chat. I mean, it does look like we have some new uh, uh, watchers tonight in Gooby Wood. Gooby Wood is the chat of of Trailer Boys, so people may not get the theme part of it. Man, you're really crushing Guys, I that think jug. I'm looking at the sheet. I think that we should watch the trailer for Hercules in New York. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> don't say it. You don't say the name. Okay, you already then picked 2241. Pick no, no, you picked 2241. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're watching 2241. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Right. I didn't mean to mess up the show. Thanks. God damn it. Greg. Ruined it. Here we go. This is huge. Oh, Mobes. Gigantic. After their oh, my first God. Visit. What the fuck? Go it's got foods and spaceships, oh, nerds and aliens. Crit, what is, what the? But they return. And they're getting bigger. After the second they're getting encounter. Bigger. Oh no, that guy's fucking fucked. You thought the fuzzy devils were dead. This was a movie that the poster Whoa. scared me. You're not as smart as you think you are. <laughs> oh, look, there he oh. was. Oh. They've just rolled into the big city. Oh, safe at home. In search of new neighbors. <laughs> they're aliens. aliens. This looks in the sick. Mix. You have to believe her. They're big, they're huge. Whoa, she's a good actress. Yeah. <laughs> and they're never the late special effects dinner. are amazing. Yeah, I think they actually got critters to do this. That's how they. I could, yeah, it's, I could see why Leo said yes. Wait, who? That was that actress. Oh no. That. Critters three. You that old lady. She's. Bob 
love it. The old lady from Such Critters. Such a good movie. Who is that? That's uh, Francis Bay, who is also famous for Critters Two. Uh, oh, she was the mom in Happy Gilmore. Oh, of course. Or the grandmother in Happy Gilmore. Not the mom. Shout out to the great noir. It says, my ass is bleeding. All right. Critters 3 <laughs> kicking ass in the chat. Thank you, everyone. That's good. Oh, there's a hype uh, train for Critters 3? Critters 3. I think that's a good what? Look, that's, a, that's the, a good pick. The theme, yeah, on theme it was a good pick. I've never seen I feel like I remember the box um the VHS like a lot of these movies I haven't seen I can kind of picture what the VHS box looked like back in in like the VHS store days when you're like looking for movies and you're buying oh, yeah. just on you know cover and alone. Sam was too scared to buy yeah, it yeah cuz it was the it was the one I wouldn't look at and you'd be like uh oh. be like I, was never, I, I never watched critters I recently uh rewatched Gremlins has anyone watched Gremlins recently uh I, I've not, seen Gremlins before up. you know I thought back in the day it was a barrel of laughs, a thrill ride, a minute, but uh, not so much in my adult life. Critters 3, however, I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> Look at this cover for Critters 3. So all of oh these are kind of like the yeah, same. And then there's like this kind of never ending story looking one, you know, and they're like flying through. So that got a 78% yes. Um, uh, which is good. I mean, that's, that's uh, three points right there from chat. Um, I think it's funny that that critters wait. If go back to the critters three poster, like something funny about about no, this mo oh, the movie. No. Oh god! It's like uh, th in the trailer they did this where they're like, now they're in the big city, and it's like the whole like, are they? I don't know. Like. <laughs> It could be anywhere. <laughs> it could really be anywhere. It's they're in a duplex, sure, but like. I guess that was a very '80s thing. It's like when Jason took Manhattan, you know. Yeah. And That's he didn't things. even get to Manhattan until like the last twenty minutes of the film. You know, he's yeah, still yeah. like in like a campsite for most of that. You know. Uh, yeah, all right, totally. so check in with three points. He's on a, on a hype train right now. Thank you very much, everyone, for the hype train. I think that trailer delivered i am going to give it two points i will also give it two points i thought that was a fun time thanks again and i'm gonna go two points as well wow i'm not i'm not going greg if we love a trailer and we're like this is so good we can kind of unite for an extra point i'm just not i'm just saying right right off the bat this isn't that trailer for me, but that's a clean sweep uh, of two, four, that, six, seven, eight, nine points. But we only yeah. cap out at eight, so that's a four full point trailer. Uh, eight points. That is going to that was submitted a bunch, and it looks like Almobs in the chat, which is funny because they saw this and Almobs. Um, uh, dropped 100 bits right before he even pressed play and i was like does she know does she know i'm about to play one of her trailers that's crazy um uh, okay um i i think it's my turn and i i will be legit with you i'll be straight up and i will say that i did not really get a chance to um watch all of these ahead of time because you but usually watch every single one i try to i try to at least go through and, and read a lot of the stuff so we you know it, so I, I apologize it makes it it makes it easier when i uh how dare you uh, yeah okay um oh ooh, okay also okay uh, again the context is great and this the context on this one is is why i'm choosing it Randy 
Rollins is a born winner, and she's got an Olympic gold medal to prove it. But now, she's about to face a tougher challenge than the fastest runners in the world. The boys' basketball team of Granger High. Oh, snap. They didn't know the difference between a jump shot and a layup until they met a winner. Well, boys, I see Mr. Coco. He, uh, he hasn't come out yet. Where's the earth? Except he's a she. Woman coach. What? The left side of the league. Crown International Pictures presents Coach. Oh, she made it. I know this might seem a little odd, finding out that I'm not exactly what you expected, but I am. <laughs> yes. Is that Larry Bird? Night, Miss Rawlings. <laughs> Is that the guy from the Building 19 ads? I'm here to teach you how to play basketball. Now, if you have something else on your mind, everybody to the showers. They are now. aggressively sexist. <laughs> How are we going to be coached by a woman? Every day for anybody who wants to practice. Everyone will she shouldn't be watching them in the showers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And did she make the water really cold or really hot? Oh, Oh, sh- oh wait. Oh, oh. Is that Michael Bean? Yes! Oh! Sick. You know, we're really not that bad, coach. I know. I think you can beat any team in the league. Does he sleep with her in this movie? And she's not going to stop until she turns a bunch of losers into a team of champions. She does. Damn. You are incorrigible. Queen. A team. Are they a high school team? Team of Patty I think so. She's more to be pitied than censored. Look, I'm not going to take this anymore. We're going to win the game, and we're going to win the conference championship, and it's going to be because of Randy Rollins. From director Stanley Kubrick. The coach introduces her team <laughs> to the sweet taste of victory. The score is a bunch of dots against a bunch of dots. <laughs> it's a high school team. Don Creech in the chat is right. It's a high school team. turn on a ball. Yeah. No. For the coach. It is, it's pretty hilarious that this movie is like... Uh, this movie is like, see... Women can be basketball coaches, high school basketball coaches too, but it's also like, wait, they can't be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they will fuck the students. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People are pointing They're... to this movie like in the 80s. <laughs> this is why we can't have women basketball coaches. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Also, like, look at the fucking the still for like this. <laughs> it's like the one scene where she's like changing. <laughs> Also, who doesn't fucking knock when you're going into your coach's office? You know? It's insane, especially if a woman and it's 1979. <laughs> I, I just want to go back to the part where they like figure out, like, they're like, our coach hasn't showed up yet. But now, she's, a, but now she's about to face. Um, hold on. They're like, hey, and our coach, he hasn't even got here. How could he? Well, he, he coach us. Is a she? Yeah. The boys' basketball. I love the music. They didn't know the difference between a jump shot and a layup. I love how many people are at this game too for being such a shitty team. Like, if your high school team was so bad, you wouldn't have the rest of your school showing up mm-hmm. to be like, "Ah, oh, why? Yeah, I suck." Until. And like, why are there three balls? He, uh, he hasn't come out yet. Where's the earth? Except he's a she. What the? Coach. The left of the league. <laughs> you're the <laughs> worst the team in the league. league. Yeah. Yeah, you're already. You're already on the bottom of the league, buddy. <laughs> Obaka says the Google description of the movie is, fol- is the following. A high school booster... Keenan Wynn replaces his grandson's basketball coach with an Olympian who turns out to be a woman. I think she was a woman the whole time, but I'm not sure who turns it out is quite right. <laughs> this trailer ruins the twist. <laughs> what the fuck is a layup, Rustin Hendrix? <laughs> Yo, boy, uh, what the fuck is a woman? <laughs> Wait, so. 
So did you did the chat vote or no? No, I'm sorry, I didn't put it up. I was too into that one. <laughs> too hot. It was too hot. It was too sexy. <laughs> um Damn, uh, everyone in the chat is all hot and bothered by the woman coach movie. It's it's kinda like just one of the guys, but she's not the player, she's the coach. Oh, I love that movie. Just Whatever like, happened yeah. to that girl from one of just one of the guys? That could confu- I wonder they should redo that, like a twenty twenty two version of just one of the guys, but it's all like twenty twenty two politically correct. Um uh, it Yeah, be it's such entirely a about movie. cancel culture. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon they're gonna remake every movie, and it's gonna be about the woke mob. Yeah. Patrick Skid says women's suffrage was about voting about and the woke basketball. mob. Yeah, it'll woke be about Godfather. unfairly stereotyping Italian people. <clears throat> um. <laughs> Shout out Patrick Skits. Stromco Penguin, Queen Twitch Melody. Oh my God, I love your, I love your fans, Trailer Boys fans in the house. Uh, the poll, the, the chat went fifty eight percent yes. I'm kind of surprised. I I thought this was great. I thought this was good Trailer Boys stuff. I'm giving this two points. Chat gave it two points as well. Uh, I'll give it two points. That was a fun one. I'll go two as well. I mean, I'm a little torn on this one because it's a kind of crazy, bad, funny looking movie. Uh, However, it is wildly inappropriate uh, to show (laughs) people in authority having sex with high schoolers and make it a comedy. So shame on Crown International for that. But I'm definitely going to buy it. Two points. (laughs) You just gave that two points. (laughs) Where's your microphone, Sam? Is it? It sounds like it's right next to your jacket. Oh, okay. How's that? Is that better? Oh, uh, I think so. I think so. Okay. Um, I think so. That's six points from us, but then two points from chat. So that's still a top point trailer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and again, the points don't really matter. We're just, you know, it doesn't matter that it's all off. Um, and that is Kit Black from, you may remember Kit Black from last year's uh, trailer tournament of champions. So Kit Black, good to see you again with some fire. Okay. Namaste. Um, and namaste. Ready? Yes. Yes. Sir. <gasps> Ooh, wait. Weird. It like jumped ahead thirty seconds. I'm gonna rewind it and start it again. Next is pulling the brass underwater for one minute. Somewhere inside every ordinary teenager. Maybe she's drowned, sir. <laughs> there's an extraordinary power. For Jeffrey Moore, it's the magic of life itself. In a place he had never been. Um, this is what it's all about. With people he had never seen. Whoa, Van Wilder Origins. Is this the Adam Project? Yes, sir, I'm speaking English. <laughs> Aren't you um, warm in that thing? Yes. He will have to choose between what he believes. Oh my goodness gracious me! Two boys, a girl, and a pizza place. They're not so very different, basketball and yoga. It's the most beautiful sound in the world. Now, confronted by the greatest challenge of his young life. Molotov cocktails. He must call on his inner strength and mystery to win him a heart and change a town forever. Life I'm so confused. Life losing battles. In the end, it broke his heart. Once we start, we must never stop. Till we have won. No. Problematic. Hit the button. Hit the button. Oh, that's what my question is. Is he playing... Ordinary magic. Like, is he a I Caucasian boy moment? raised in India? Oh. Is can someone explain this? Is he I'm so confused? Yeah, why does he have an Indian accent? Um, does he have an Indian accent the whole movie, or just I thought he just had it in that moment? Well, he doesn't talk to like halfway through the movie, but at one point, he's like, I am speaking English. 
he began a life he had never known. You speak English? Uh, yes, sir, I'm speaking English. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Uh, he does have an Indian. What the? F yes. What is this? He will have to choose. This is cultural what he appropriation. Oh my goodness, Beyond all. <laughs> so that, that that's problematic. Problematic. It's, most it's called ordinary time. magic. He's like, that's not so very different than basketball and yoga. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? What is that? He must be so embarrassed by that movie. And what is the Molotov cocktail? They're like, his biggest challenge. And somebody throws a Molotov cocktail through his window. I think it's weird that they're like, hey, guys, what if we made a movie about these hate crimes and uh, the the guy that the hate crimes are on is a white guy? That is. <laughs> OK, so That's it's the misadventures of a boy sent to live with his aunt in Canada, where he and a group of unlikely heroes take a stand against the ski resort infringing upon his new home. <laughs> this isn't the right movie, is it? What the fuck? What? <laughs> I didn't get any of that from the trailer. What was the ski resort part Wait, of this? Is that really? Is that really? That's what it said. I get Canada from that. That's fucked That's up, man. Ordinary magic. Okay, yeah, this is on IMDb. The misadventures of a boy sent to live with, with his aunt in Canada. Sure, okay. Where he and a group of unlikely heroes, wait, what? Take a stand against <laughs> the ski resort infringing upon his new home. Again, what? Uh, why did they? I, yeah, I don't know. I did not this get is, that. I can't believe it's directed by Sofia Coppola. All right. <laughs> so this is this is when this is the storyline on IMDb. When his father dies, Jeffrey is sent to live with his aunt Charlotte in Canada. Once there. He leads his aunt and his friends in staging a nonviolent hunger strike to save his aunt's house from being demolished to make room for a ski resort. Wow. What the I did not get any of that. that. I did not get any of that. Um, yeah. I'm speechless. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Good on you. Uh, uh, user reviews, uh, 9 out of 10. Some movies start slow in the beginning and you lose interest quite fast. Ordinary Magic kept me captivated from the get-go, I'm sure, and reminded me of how easy it is to lose priceless memories of your home and growing up. Uh, so, the way Jeffrey shows his compassion for his town, home, and his aunt is just the beginning of what a person can do. <laughs> as well as making fellow residents realize large corporations will walk over you. This is so weird. This this is like that's like the review like the writer's mom wrote, you know? Yeah. <laughs> this is like something that you would do and our mom would write a review about and be like, the yeah. one boy with the mustache and is very tall is a standout in the group of five. <laughs> you know? And you're this like, is like, wow. This is like a, a review that Gramps would write for in Gramps' shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the tags. What tags? What do I do? I don't know. Listen, the uh, chat is lighting up on this one, and I love it. And somebody named Lobaka, shout out, <laughs> pointed out that <laughs> there are white people with Indian accents, which, okay, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll give Lobaka that. And again, shout out Lobaka. But like, why, why did this, why was the movie made? Why was Ordinary Magic made? I, I, that I don't have an answer to. <laughs> it's got 58% no, which is crazy to me because I think this is hilarious. That's crazy. That's um, two points from me. So that's, I, I would, I wish I could have said this uh before people vote, voted on it. Uh, is that, this movie is like what I wanted from this week. This movie, like the young Ryan Reynolds is like what in this movie I've never heard of is what I wanted to see. Two points from me. 
<laughs> Chaos Theory 97 says, Ordinary magic for an extraordinary movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah. Somebody said, go back to the tags. Panwell said, go back to the tags. And I didn't understand what he was saying. Um, so, I found it here. So, the tags are Canada, Loud Sex, Teenage Girl in Swimwear, Bereavement, Coming of Age... Loud Satyagraha. Sex. What is Satyagraha? Is that Hinduism, India, nonviolence based on a based on a novel, independent film? Yeah, Loud Sex is a tag. I'm gonna click Teenage Girl in Swimwear. That's a tag. Can somebody contact IMDb? Yeah, uh. the, I, the Wikipedia page is a better explanation. Okay, hold on. I just want to. I'm just gonna shout out everyone in the chat. Abby, Sally, this whack as fuck. Scott, Paul Walker's brother. I'm gonna give this a quick two points. Two. Oh wow. Uh, I think I have to give it two points as well. Because it's so fucking weird. I was I was thinking about giving it one point, but it's so fucking weird. It's you know? so weird. It's and it's, so I guess, weird. to top it off, it's young Ryan Reynolds, you know? It's not just like this. I love Ryan it's, Reynolds. It's not just this, like, how much did the check give it? One point, two points? It was either one two? point or two points. It was 58%. Yes, I think. Okay, so that gets the that gets a full eight points. <laughs> <laughs> That's an eight point trailer right there. Um, <laughs> Don Creech says, "Overrule all this. Just play the movie, please." All right, so um, I I pulled up the Wikipedia. It says Jeffrey, who is the son, has been raised with the ideals of social activism as part of his everyday life. His father spends the better part of lives fighting for social justice in India. There After his father dies, the 15-year-old is sent to live with his aunt Charlotte in the small town of Paris, Ontario. Through several comedic situations and with considerable effort, he manages to make friends and fit into this new, much smaller world of his. However, when his aunt receives an unfair eviction notice from a sleazy landlord, Paul Anka, Whoa. every bit of his background and training comes into play as he works with her to put on a well-publicized hunger strike or satyagraha which wins the admiration of local, uh, local citizens. Um, man. Increase. We talk about Gramps. No, we're, we're, it's, we're on a Gramps-like tangent, but uh, I do love Ryan Reynolds, and so uh, that was hilarious for me. Um, good old Rye Rye. So is that the landlord throwing the Molotov cocktail to the house? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's another layer of the onion. <laughs> Okay, so um, who who submitted that and and uh, and it was an eight point trailer, eight point trailer for Shaboy Tom, Shaboy Shaboy Tom. All right, Greg Johnson, Soft J. What what number would you like to see next, sir? Oh, it's my turn. Okay, yeah. give me one second, real quick. Uh, let's see, real quick. Uh, my turn came around so quickly um let's do a little two two four nine how's that sound two two four nine that okay. may be shit though all right you know okay. you picked it all right. go for it okay do you want me to put it in i got it this is Ooh. huge Shout out to the chat. In this house lives. Ooh, I, I love the Fucking the terror, bro. This is so is huge. Boris Karloff. Not alone. With my own hand. What? Or, Whoa! Starring Boris Karloff. Hmm. Escort this gentleman from the castle. Is this yeah, a single channel? The terror, his evil mystic powers go beyond man's wildest imaginings. A bird. Another bird. The terror, the power to avenge. To A lot of birds. Ew, what? Ew! That was real. Yeah, birds, it's a real bird that eats real mice. 
I want the truth. I always thought Jack Nicholson got into acting like way later in life. He looks real young here. Yeah. He did a bunch of stuff in the 60s. It's it's kind of astonishing how boring movies in the 60s look, feel, and were marketed. Not all movies, but... Well, I don't know if you know this, but they didn't have the internet back then. What? Because I was going to say, like... This this needs to be like more TikTok ready. <laughs> like what the fuck is this? <laughs> Every bicycle? time Greg says what the fuck, I'm like, yeah, say it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the terror? <laughs> I just farted. Did you guys hear that? No, I smelled it. Clip clear, it. Though. Clip it. Um, shit, that was cool. I don't know what that movie was about, but it was cool. Oh, we'll be waiting for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> when uh, when and me are now connected. What does that mean? No, C- no, we can't. Central we Plane can't. farted at the same time I did. We're, we're, uh... Yeah, Barlow, uh, Boris Karloff when he opened Hippo the Hippo Brothers. Not Eskimo Brothers, but Hippo Brothers. What the fuck is the internet? Is that from Clerks 2? I think they say that in that movie. Yeah. Clerks. Oh, Grimworld. That movie is crazy. Um, Sam, do you think anyone submitted the last detail? Uh... Did anyone submit the last detail? I don't know. Great movie. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. I didn't get that. That's some. So this was a really Boris early Karloff. Boris Karloff movie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is before see. Boris Karloff was big. This was called the Terror. The Terror. All right, the poll is live now. Um, let me try and find a, a good. A good one of because Jack Nicholson wasn't really in the in the trailer too much, you know. It was a lot of Boris Karloff, and I was like, I don't know what this is about. And then, boom! Look at that! Look at that haircut! Look at that sharp man! Um, I, you know what? I thought it was cool. I like the vibe. I like the text. I like the music. Um, I'm gonna give it a point. I give it a point too. Listen. I can t- I can own up when I pick a dud. I think I picked a dud. I'm actually going to go zero on this one. All right. Ooh. Interesting. What is chat going with? Uh, what is chat going with? What, uh, 58%? Yes. I think we've had a few That's 58%. Two points. Uh, Nate, I just want to point out that, uh, you know, you've been talking about Tammy and the T-Rex. Yes. But if you look to, uh, where was this? Uh, just lost my place. Uh, uh, twenty three oh nine. It makes Tammy and T Rex a little bit of a moot point. Um, okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. All right. Can you guys hear the coffee grinding in the background? No, unfortunately I can't. Can you make it louder? <laughs> yeah. Hold on one sec. Yeah, sorry. Um, somebody's grinding coffee and I live in their house, so I can't really tell them what to do. It's okay. I can't hear it. I can't hear it either. 
<laughs> yeah, you you definitely can't tell them what to do. <laughs> Oh, I lost it. Uh, what are we doing? I'm yelling at my mom. Did you ruin the show? Yeah. Yes! Hello. Sam's crying. Don't, you're, you're gonna invite her in. She's like a <laughs> vampire. She's like, Beetlejuice, don't say her name. Okay, we're watching shows. Oh, this one's gonna be huge. I can already tell. Mr. Slittons oh, in the top. I know these yes. guys. I know those guys. Personally? I know that whole team. Huge. The most mysterious, inexplicable, and incredible events often take place in the most ordinary places. Usually, these seemingly unexplainable occurrences are eventually explained, but every so often, they remain mysteriously incredible. Monster in the closet. Gigantic. Is the monster a cat? We ain't talking about no snake here. Whoa. Tony Danza? Yes, it was something so hideous. So gruesome. So frightful. That it could only dwell in one place. I know every one of your hiding places. Among the slippers and pajamas in the grisly depths of your closet. The entire United States Marine Corps could not stop it. That's the entire United States Marine Corps? It doesn't look like that. <laughs> the most sophisticated armored weaponry and firepower could not stop it. Could not stop it. The most special effects could not stop it. The most Why is that 80 year old dude like a Marine infantryman? Could not. Could not. Even the most incredible array of international superstars. Henry Gibson, Stella Stevens, Donald Moffat, John Carradine, Howard Duff, Claude Aiken, Paul Dooley, Jesse White, Frank Ashmore, Donald Grant, Denise DeBerry could not stop. Who are all these people? It's gripping. Are those the character names or the actors' right. names? It's horrible. Paul Dooley's actor. Yeah, it's the actor's name. <laughs> But what the fuck? Who's mom? Was that the guy from um, the Burbs? We must act immediately. Who's Destroy before? Who turned closet. famous from this? The guy with the mustache looks for me. It's the, the nerdy kid. Could you understand what it said? No. This is gonna trip you out. Was it a deranged killer? Oh my god. Just looking for a date. <laughs> what? Sir, in the closet. It's <laughs> that was a long one. But right, wait, hold on. Let's go. No. I think I'm. We must act immediately. It's monster in the closet. Good night. We must. <laughs> It's gripping. Oh. Right, oh yeah, right there. Stop it. It's uh, is that the kid? See. No, it's not the kid from. Oh, I know who it is. Who is it? It's um, it's uh, it's Stephen Dorff. Close. <laughs> Stephen Dorff's on the right track. Oh, I was so close. Who else could it be? It's Paul Walker. Paul Walker. Whoa, his, his Tammy in brother's in the chat. <laughs> wow. Paul Walker's brother's in the chat. Stephen Do <laughs> Don Creech cheered 200 bits just to say Stephen Dorf sucks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bits. <laughs> um, Monster in the Closet, huh? The funny thing was with the trauma movies is this one for like the time period, oh, I guess 87, but it, it just, this one seemed like kind of normal for them, you know? Yeah, <laughs> Wait, there's also, the there's also another big, big, huge, 
huge star <laughs> in this movie that if you if you said did you know this this singer this songbird is she in the trailer find her i i don't know if she's in the trailer uh she plays the part of lucy uh but maybe go go to the character the, act, the actor rundown maybe they 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 didn't show a child. Um, the dude with the mustache is from something, right? But she plays the monster. <laughs> the monster is the rancor from Star Wars. Oh, maybe that's <laughs> Lucy. That. There, it's uh, uh, she in this movie. She was uh, 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 billed as Stacy Ferguson, right Taylor Swift. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Black Eyed Peas. Fergie. Wow. Fergie was in a movie with Paul Walker. Wow, bro. Oh, that's her? That's Fergie? Or she died. Fergie. Let's see. She's like, let's get it started. (laughs) She has had a lot of work done, so it's hard to say, like Yeah, it's hard to say. It could, I mean, that girl's all throughout the trailer, and she is billed pretty high on this. Okay. All right. Chat gave it That's 70%. Yes. Be, uh, good, Chat, good. 70%. Night. I'm giving that two points, too. I mean, my only, like, like negative thing was uh, it was too long, but still, I think it deserves two points. Uh, I mean, I wish we could though. recognize Paul Walker, but... yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. going to give it one point. Okay. I'll give it two just for the two uh, stars. And Chad gave it to six, seven. Seven? Seven points going to the Gas Fire. Welcome to Trailer Boys. Gas, fi- gas Fire Films in, in the chat. There's um, Paul Walker's brother in the chat. Booyah, yeah, oh, along oh. with, you know, Sith Psychopaths and, you know, Away Stork Away. Uh, hold on let me see Um, you got another one Sam yes um, I just want to I just want to check real quick the poster for that the poster it's pretty cool looking oh it's the poster on the, the chat oh yeah that is cool it's got a bra on the claw, and this one's a tie. Uh, it's not sexy enough. There we go. <laughs> El Monstro de Armario. The monster in the armoire doesn't have the same kind of thing. It's out. It's out. Monster in the closet. I want. I was going to see like if they put <laughs> that one with the middle finger. Lou Snob Snobkin Ug Skirbskobian. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? All right. You ready? I am ready, Sam. Ooh, it's a Scandinavian film. Huge. You know it's good. Scandinavia. When, uh, when three countries look like a dick in a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the end of the trailer? Was that the whole thing? Ah, <laughs> oh, there's more. Fuck. Greg, remember, you're picking next. Yo, what the fuck is fake hope? <laughs> the name of the movie. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. What the fuck? Fuck is a bay cove. That's strange. It was a Madeline Klein. <laughs> it was August 7th, 1703. August 7th, that's today. It has to be a coincidence. That would make him over 300 years old, wouldn't it? Linda thinks that you and Nicholas are 300 years old. <laughs> Nikki. Show her your life. Not the guy from uh, Animal House, Boone. Yeah, yeah. Look, it says Nicholas Klein, Massachusetts. Oh. 
So what does that prove? What the? A fake license on any street corner in Boston. What about you? Maddie's short for Madeline, isn't it? Dear, my name is Martha. What? See, honey, I told you there was an explanation for everything. There's some weird cuts. <laughs> yeah, what did they cut this on? Premiere? Or... <laughs> oh, no. He's not my son. What? He's my grandfather. Good night. <sighs> Looking for something? I'm a little sailor boy. Stay away from me. I want to live here forever. Yeah, it's another random scenes trailer. Yeah. And they blow up a model of a church in this movie. That's pretty cool. Is it Boone? Is this before he was famous? Because I don't feel no. like what's what's his most famous movie? I, I right feel like someone tried just wanted a trailer shown, so they they duped us. <laughs> what is the context? Oh, thank you. That's Highlights not of this one include comically long intro, asinine dialogue about a driver's license, and an enormous fucking explosion before Woody Harrelson was famous. He's in it. How, wow. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. At all. No. <laughs> You're not watching him the movie. And, uh, tell me what timestamp. Uh... Ba uh, Big Row One, are you in chat? Big Row Shout One has some minutes in fire. Yeah. Big ups to all y'all chat people. I mean, is he the sailor boy? It seems like not old enough for that to be the case. No, it wouldn't be. Yeah, Ilium Works is right. He's not in it, but it was made before Woody Harrelson was famous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Woody Harrelson is in it. He plays, he plays Slater. Slater. Okay. Sick. Is Slater yeah. in the trailer? <laughs> that sounds awesome. I did not see Slater in the trailer. Uh, there's three minutes. Also, I won't get back. Jeff Conway from Greece was in that movie. Huge. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> recovering alcoholic Jeff Conway. Greg, Gigantic. I mean, what did dead, you think? dead recovering alcoholic, I guess. You know, I hated that shit because it's a <laughs> typical movie from that era. They didn't have uh, Adobe Premiere. They didn't know how to cut the things because they didn't have MTV quick cuts. Uh, I hate Bakov. I hate all, everything it stands for. I didn't even see Woody Harrelson. He didn't even come out. It show his face and say hi to us. Zero points. Oh. If I, I saw young Woody argument. Harrelson, I would give it points, but I didn't. Let's go over really quick. Like here, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch back. I've been muted. So in the beginning, we have two women, right? It's crazy long intro. We write about that. So we have two women in the scene, and then Those we are have the indigo girls. And then we have this couple here. And then her and the guy she's with, who is, I think, Animal House. He was also the principal in something. Was it... Can someone remind me? This guy? Breakfast uh, Club. Was he the principal in Breakfast Club? All right. I and think so, yeah. So this old what? guy, right? And then this little kid, who I don't think is Woody Harrelson either. No, and no. I just looked it up. This movie... Here's, here's something else. But, I, I, I appreciate the try. But I think another thing about this movie, and I know I was saying, like, don't, like, let's not get too pit nitpicky about this. But this movie also came out in 19, it's a TV movie that came out in 1987. Woody Harrelson was Woody already Harrison famous. Was already on Cheers. Yeah, yeah. He was on Cheers in 1985. Yeah. I do have to point out, Resident Evil keeps saying, Tim Matheson, he played Larry in Burn Notice. I've seen you say a few times, no one watched Burn Notice. <laughs> <laughs> he 
played Larry in Burn Notice. But also, and I watched in, Burn Notice. He was in no one Animal it. House. He was in yeah. Animal House like ten years before this, right? Yeah, I'm confused. but he did play Larry for Burn Notice. <laughs> That's huge. Uh, I, I'm not giving that points either. <laughs> yeah, uh, this for uh, I forget who our our trailer boys fans or watchers are that have the really complicated names that we can't say. Burn Burn Notice fan sixty nine is probably not taken yet. No, no, that was my fucking name. <laughs> We were doing, oh, wow. it was, <laughs> Martha's right. There was a, uh, there was a, uh, a thing that I don't know if all you guys were doing it or if it was a treasure Trevor show, but it was when, um, uh, we met Ali Gregg when it was like the dating game and I was trying to get in oh, as yeah. Burn Notice fan 69. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, okay. I have used that. Right. It was a self suck. Okay. That was, I was, all right. uh, all right. So I remember um, that. Yeah. So Big Row won. Shout Big out Goose to Tank. Allegra. Um, Gregory Johnson, it's your turn. Oh, we missed a we missed a raid of three viewers from Mr. Portal. Hey, Mr. Portal. When was that? Woo-hoo. I'm sorry. I'm never watching. Twenty the, minutes the ago. Three viewers. Mr. Sorry. Portal. Mr. Ports. That's nice. Mr. Portal. Nice. Uh, shout out uh, Abby um, Sally too. Um, my choice, the number is two, three, five, zero. And shout out to all the people in the chat, all the people who watch Trailer Boys. Sam and Nate, thank you again for having me on. S- people here in New York love you. My name is Greg. It's so good to be here with you. We love having you, Greg. I was super excited when Sam said you were doing the show. And you know what? Chat, Gooby Wood loves Greg too because of your expressive um, talking with the hands you know I feel I need to move myself out of the way here to get more what are we Greg talking about um, I don't know how much everyone loves Greg yeah how much everyone loves me oh yeah Greg's without, good Greg's without good. further oh, ado cool. let's, without proving that or disproving it let's move on to <laughs> the trailer I've picked out and thank you for everyone who Follows me on uh, Instagram at the Greg Johnson. Thank you. I'll see you on oh. Instagram again. He's the Greg Johnson, but not the Greg Johnson that you're thinking of. We're trying yes. to change the number one Greg Johnson to this Greg Johnson. Well, okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> um, I will say this, and some people in chat may call foul. Some longtime Goobywood people may be like bullshit. We watched this, but I want to say we watched this before we were even like an official, before there was scoring. So um, some of you guys may remember this as this a movie is hysterical. Movie. Warner Brothers Pictures. Mm. Shit, I'm sorry. The groundswell. Spignet. We're starting that again. So huge. This is epic. This is a this PG was, movie? This, this is was really my Lawrence PG of Arabia. This was my godfather. The perfect session. A-frame wave, ground swell, spitting out soul. Yeah, this was a panel trailer from back in the day. Without a bounce. I call it the consciousness razor. Mitchell's life was a California dream. <laughs> Mitchell's life. Until he woke up in Cincinnati. What do you think? Fuck Cincinnati. Fuck Cincinnati. Ponage. Nasty Natty. His cousin wants him to Nasty Natty. Totally pwned. You're going to Cincinnati. You know you're going to Cincinnati. (laughs) Why bring your surfboard? Until you woke up (laughs) in Cincinnati. Like, why? Like, why are you, like, you know you're not near the ocean. (laughs) No. I love how it's just like Wait. Cincinnati. Like every kid, every kid who was Boo. like psyched for this surfing movie was like, "This movie looks cool." And they're like, "Until he got fucked and cocked <laughs> by Cincinnati." We're just so excited about yeah. having you here. Slow down a little bit, Wiley. Hands on chin and two. His cousin wants him to meet his friends. You. Where do I know you from? You used to. Uh, that guy's from Patriots. <laughs> they're an interesting bunch. I could be Elvis. This part's I really like to sleep, and I like Nintendo. They all want Mitchell to feel right at home. 
And if it wasn't for Nikki... How are you? You must be getting pretty homesick, huh? Not right now. He'd have no reason to stay. Man, I'm not smooth. For the next Whatever six happened months, to Nick? his days of sun, <laughs> sand, and surf <laughs> have been put on ice. It's actually a film about bullying. <laughs> There's a lot of bullying. It sometimes brings people In a together. Where no yeah. one understands. It's about how sometimes, if a kid is who would have into inline skating enough, it's okay to bully him. What he does best. <laughs> Been shouted by the prep to a little skating race. We thought maybe he don't want to skate on our team. No. He has one chance to prove himself. One final race to win. Yeah. The last 25 minutes of this movie is an inline skating race Down downhill. Down the top. Down devil's backbone. It's like 45 minutes. I think I'm starting to like Cincinnati. No, you're not. <laughs> the, chat, the chat is just defending like, Cincinnati. <laughs> Listen, I like, love serious. Nasty Natty. I love the chili. I love Ohio. I love everything about the Nasty Natty. But the producers of Airborne, I guess, didn't look on it too favorably. Uh, Airborne is an amazing movie. I mean, I can't name another movie that's about rollerblading in the same way this movie was. Um, there's a few people in this kind of before they were famous. Am I right? Can I say their names? Uh, yeah, I don't yeah, think you're allowed to. <laughs> you got <laughs> Seth Green. He's driving that car. I don't know what happened to the main protagonist kid in this. He's probably dead. R.I.P. But yeah, he uh, you also got you also got um, Jack Black is in it. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's quite a movie. It's about rollerblading. Um, it's about, you know, standing up for what is right, which is rollerblading. And, uh, overall <laughs> it was one of my favorite rollerblading movies of the nineties. Shout out. What, to, it's uh, definitely in your chat. top 10, right? Definitely top 10 rollerblading movies. And the bully in this, uh, played the character of Dennis in uh, one of the, the, a show that I think is horribly underrated, uh, Amazon's Patriot, uh, which if you haven't seen Patriot, check it out. It's a really fun show. Really good time. Um, and he is really funny as Dennis in that. Chat has given us the th three points. Ooh. Um, I also want to show that um looking into this um i wanted to look up shane mcdermott and it looks like he was in all my children for a while and he was on an episode of law and order and then um he looks like this now which I, this kind of looks like a mugshot to me oh um, no oh, yes. he was arrested in galveston you know what i actually know he, this he was arrested in galveston because he was inline skating <laughs> <laughs> He this got, is a really good mugshot. In the school parking lot, and they were like, "We thought we told you to stop skating." I love, anyway. I love how you can see like the evolution here. You have this version of him, you know, maybe before the movie, and then like, uh, you know, he's in the movie, and then this is maybe like right after the movie, and then this is a couple years ago, and maybe this is like now, you know, like you get the whole evolution. But uh, Shane McDermott arrested in Galveston. I mean, I guess he's famous enough where TMZ will still report on him. Um, yeah. what, what year was this? It, he was in a I, verbal altercation at a bar in Galveston in um, 2017. I bet I know how that started 100%. They're like, okay. aren't you the guy from Airborne? And he's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> he's like, fine. And they're like, can you take a picture? Take a picture with me. Take a picture. <laughs> So, no, so I don't want to. I don't want to take a picture with you for Airborne. Leave a thing on my on my voicemail where you say uh, where you call me bra. Shred the nar, bra. Yeah, say. Can you say that? And he's like, nah. It's, I, I want to be known for different stuff now. <laughs> the altercation was about how much Cincinnati sucks. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, so, like, if you're like a kid and you're like in Cincinnati and you're like. You're like, oh, this movie looks cool. And then all of a sudden they're like, and he gets sent to the worst place ever. <laughs> Cincinnati. Are you like, fuck? 
Yeah, you're like, <laughs> shit, not all of us can live in Malibu. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do love the detail I'm of him getting sorry, arrested. Hollywood. Though. Yeah, what? He was uh, the detail where he got arrested. He was drunk at a bar around 2 a.m. The police showed up and they were like, look, just get a ride home or get arrested. And then he just replies, arrest me now. And they arrested him. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's the oh worst arrest story I have ever heard. So what? Uh, why didn't he just take the old shoelace express home? <laughs> he needed to take his rollerblades home. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> he didn't talk rollerblades home. Um, so, so Chad gave that three points. Greg Johnson, Sam, what are you giving this? Keep in mind, Cincinnati does suck objectively. Nasty natty. They got to the Super Bowl. I'm going to give this one three, and here's why. This movie was on <laughs> syndication. You're going to give it three? Oh, give it two. Okay, I'll, Zero, I'll one, or two? I'll give it two. Okay. <laughs> this movie was on <laughs> syndication <laughs> my entire yeah. life as a child, and I, I just loved it. I never rollerbladed, but I always admired people who did. Two stars. I mean, points. Okay. Two points. It works. Way up. <laughs> Elliot works says, I thought Shoelace Express meant something much darker for a minute there. And I also did. <laughs> I was like, whoa, Shoelace Express. No, that means when you walk with your sneakers, like that's taking the Shoelace Express. <laughs> I thought it meant when you hang yourself by your shoelaces. I don't know. I, I mean, no, I, <laughs> that's why they take your shoelaces away in jail, right? That's the, the shoe way, shoelace way out. That's what All it right. means to fans of the terror, but I'm more of an airborne guy. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, hear me out. I'm going to give that zero points. Fair enough. Okay. Why? <laughs> I like, hear me out. I'm going to give it zero points. Um, because we've watched it a bunch. <laughs> we've watched it before. You know, I feel right. like it's just reposts now. I mean, I don't want yeah. to disappoint the Gooby Wood and the Trailer Boys from back in the day being like, we already watched this, but it was season one. It was pre-season one. It was, it was old, old, old. Um, but, uh, okay. and fuck That's Cincinnati, bad. you know? So... That's yeah, good. I'm all, I'm giving it one point because... You just said two uh, points! What? Did I talk you out of it? No. Yeah. I thought you, I think right. I'm going to actually go. I'm going to go four points. No, <laughs> Greg said two points. Oh, I thought you also said two points. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to okay. say one point. Uh, I was going to give it two points, but then they mentioned Cincinnati, and I was like, ooh, <laughs> gross. Okay. Nasty natty. Uh, uh, no thanks. So. Uh, how many points is that? I said, uh, no burrows. <laughs> Greg gets me. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> I appreciate that smirk. Super Bowl. Me and the chat don't get it, but it's okay, chat. Um, There's a, a guy, his name is Joe Burrows. He lives in Cincinnati. Sure, yeah. <laughs> MVP of the Bengals. The nasty, natty bank. <laughs> <laughs> Resident Steve says, hey, Cincinnati, you just got trailer void. Um, so at yeah. six points. Have you guys ever had the, the um, Skyline Chili in uh, Cincinnati? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, they, this is how they do chili in Cincinnati, is they put it on spaghetti. Huh. That's their thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have no thoughts on that, Nate? I, it doesn't sound great. They should have told the, the kid in Airborne that. Like, he's like, oh, fuck, I got to leave Beverly Hills. And they're like, dude, wait till you get to Natty, man. They put chili on spaghetti. I like that, you know, they, they yeah, they, I don't remember there being a part in Airborne about the chili being on spaghetti. I know. They needed to highlight that more. Maybe it's in the deleted scenes on the Blu-ray, which I just ordered. <laughs> I just right. ordered that's right I just ordered airborne on blu-ray because I'm that into rollerblading I you know what I, I, I sometimes I give jokes like buying physical media like blu-rays and stuff but it's like I love all the special features and you don't get that on any of the streaming platforms why can't we get special features on streaming platforms why 
Good question. You, you do you can. Uh, Criterion has tons of special features on their shit. Well, I don't know what that is. I don't have it because you won't share your password. That would be illegal. Ah. All right. Next movie. Are you ready? Is it my turn? Uh, no, I think Greg just picked Airborne, right? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you. And, and that was submitted by... Um, fuck. Where did that go? Grebo PhD. This Metallica. Nothing else matters. Each of us has known the fear of being alone. Oh, tell me about Lost it. Lost in the darkness. Every night, dun, 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 the dun, 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 But there is yeah. one fear. This movie's about me. In our past. Lost in our subconscious. Yeah. That should never have been forgotten. What is it? A fear so deep. How deep? It cuts to the bone. The American legend returns to bring Texas you back. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Massacre and TNG. Welcome to my world. <laughs> You had me Matthew at Matthew McConaughey life. of A Time to Kill. <laughs> Renee Zellweger of Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. Are Jinx. <laughs> Was this Texas after Chainsaw Jerry Maguire or Massacre. before Jerry the Maguire? The next generation. I think they shot I think they shot this simultaneously. He wouldn't need a chainsaw. They shot that they at the used... same time as they were shooting Jerry Maguire. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's a new trailer because I feel like I yeah. Somebody said it was made before but released after. I, I think I heard that Texas Chainsaw or Manager. <laughs> um, it's a year before Jerry Maguire. It was in '95, huh? huh? Huge. They are already huge actors, but I remember like there was something when I watched this after, and there was like, oh, this like didn't really come out, so. Um, can someone confirm? I mean, this so is that something. Was it. I think I think they sent it straight to video after those two kind of like did become famous because they were going to make yeah. a squash. I mean, believe it or not, they were maybe going to squash that movie because believe it or not, they like <laughs> didn't it didn't do well with test audiences. So well, believe it or not, it wasn't going to see the light of day. And then a time to kill. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, and. Uh, you had me at hello, Jerry Maguire. Show me the money. Uh, you know, the 90s were yeah. a crazy time. Everyone was also like she Renee Zellweger was in Empire Records. That's right, Panwall. And so, yeah, people were like Empire Records is such a huge hit. Those Jim Blossom tunes are tearing up the charts. <laughs> Wait, uh, was Renee Zellweger, was she like Rex Manning Day? That was Liv Tyler was, but then she oh. she slept with Rex Manning. Liv Tyler was excited about Rex Manning Day. Okay. She was Liv Tyler had the crush on Rex Manning and Renee Zellweger was the one was the friend who was like, "Well, I'm going to sleep with Rex Manning because you're, you know, too chicken to do it." And then they had like that like emotional like scene. And then Robin Tooney was the girl who shaved her head and tried to cut her wrist from the craft uh, yeah. i will point out I, I do love i do love empire records and we should do a theme based around empire records at some point but i do want to point something out this got 59 percent no and I remember last time there were people being like i've seen there were better trailers right so Grimward says voting no only because I'm certain I've seen a better trailer for this one. Do you want to challenge? Is there somebody that submitted a different trailer for this movie that wants to challenge? 
Ooh. Put the points on the line. Let the bodies hit the floor. And Sam is going to tell you what the risk and reward is for a challenge now. Sam, take it away. Wait, it's Gr Grimward? I, I don't know. Uh, Grimward said it. I don't know if... if, if Grimward, if, if you want to challenge... This is tense. You, you could get... Oh, this is perfect. You could get the points for not only this, but also the... Or yeah, you could get the points from this, but also the points from you, the trailer that I'll show of yours that I've picked out to go next. Or if the other, if the, the original trailer wins, the uh, whoever chose this trailer uh, wins this the points from this trailer and from your next trailer. Interesting. Interesting. So you're betting his points on a trailer we haven't even watched. We haven't even watched it yet, but I was okay. going to pick it next. Okay. Okay. Perfectly clear. All right. So, Grimward, are you challenging and do you have a different trailer? Okay. Should we let Grimward... Double down. Should we do this right now, or should we watch a trailer and let them figure it out? Are they like sweating? Like, what do I do? What do I do? All right. Um, or should we wait it out? Should we wait it Can out? I, I'll, I'll pick a second trailer of Grimward right, right now. I, I have one right now. Okay. And and Grimward, see if you can find a trailer. Grimward has said I do. Grimward wants the challenge, and they are submitting All shortly. Right. Okay. Cool. Uh, they're gonna challenge, but I have okay, one. Word. I just grabbed this one. Uh, yeah, okay, this looks fun. Ah. Imagine the perfect thinking machine. The cutting edge of counter espionage technology <laughs> in a humanoid robotics application. Imagine the perfect loving machine. Human in almost every okay. respect. Our very are, best. Are we still talking about my current computer? Imagine <laughs> the perfect killing machine. <laughs> Peak condition. I can imagine the, the first and third, not imagine the middle one. So they are all the same. You, you mean loving like physical love? Or Why me? What? Run, I can help. She's the ultimate instrument of destruction. Where's she got? Glass shadow. Liquid explosive. Highly effective. No, don't catch the boy away from me. No, they won't. Elias Curtis? Yeah. Still active. Yes, I am still in oh, the um, opportunity to What's that dude's name? Warrior. Is it Untouchables? Don't get dead. Uh, it appears Pinwheel has planted a bomb in you. A plot. They can us. Woman. She's a girl. Yes. If you want to dine with the devil, you need a long spoon. Incoming. Whoa. Billy, Billy Drago? Uh, Billy Drago, yeah. Whoa. Jack, Jack Palance, is that him? That's some classic Palance. You've been a naughty girl. Cyborg 2. It's in my program. Angie. Fuck me. That was everything I like in a Trailer Boy submission. Yeah. Um, Do I have to have seen Cyborg 1 to understand <laughs> Cyborg 2? <laughs> I'm confused already, but I'm in. I'm definitely in. I love I love it's All like, right. what was it? Imagine, a, what was the first? Hold on, hold on. Let's... Um, <laughs> Imagine the, the, a perfect thinking machine. Is that what the first one was? <laughs> yeah, imagine a perfect thinking machine. Uh, it's like our right, computer. Machine. Yeah. Is it is it like physical loving or like emotional loving? Because that's what I'm like, wait, now I'm confused. I can't imagine this, what we're talking about now. I'm, I'm having trouble here. Um, everything no, else about that trailer, really like. That's still my computer, is what I'm saying. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I fucking I masturbate to the computer. Yeah. It's my perfect. computer gets me off better than anyone. <laughs> um, I liked how Jack Palance was in it. I just, I 
I've never heard of this, never seen it, so it was a surprise to me. I his line, his line in it, like the uh, what was it? You got to carry a big. Sp- I don't know what was that. Oh, let's go it's back like, to it. Be destroyed. Let's go back to it. Why me? Hey, y'all. Ah! The lips part, I like this. The ultimate instrument of yeah. destruction. When they knock on the thing. What does she got? Glass shadow. Liquid explosive. Highly effective. No, don't touch the boy. No, they won't. I cost. She's still active. Yes, I am still an equal opportunity terminator. Warrior. Don't get dead. Weapon. It appears pink and lover. The bomb in you. Woman. Woman. Oh. She's a girl. Yes. If you want to dine with the devil, you'll need a long spoon. Incoming. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That is why we do this show. It's for lines like, if You've you want to die with, dine with the devil, Some you got to carry too. a long spoon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's you know what that made my two points firmed up greg i'm gonna go two guys for cyborg two i love the trailer and i love that greg here's the thing i like that movie so much that if i could give it another point i would how do you feel about that i'm down for whatever if you want to (laughs) raise your hands like a y like a uh do like a Y, like a V kind put of your, with your... Put your fists out in a V. No, no. Out no, 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 no. Your fists. Like... <laughs> <What's> <laughs> going? Yeah, to the side. To the side. Yeah, yeah, let's, go like, let's go like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. that. Come on. Get it. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, oh, Greg and I are doing it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. All right, good one. Ray. Oh, there's Yee-haw. three of us. Yeah. Um, maybe that's not the best one. We gotta find a better one. So, uh, you know, when this is what we do. When it's just Sam and I, we use the medallion. You know. And we're trying to come up with one for when we have a guest. Maybe the medallion still works, right? The Three Amigos one is really long, but as far as I tried it. Uh, the Ghostbusters 2 is long, too, but the medallion is pretty fun. So, um, I liked it, obviously. So that is two, four, six, seven points seven. for us. When, Three when points did Chad give it? Chad gave it 78%. Oh, wow. That's Do you a think Jack Palance like? would... What do you think Jack Palance would think of uh, Trailer Boys? He would love it. No, no, no. <laughs> what do you think he would think of like? He'd be a know, really good guess. The uh, the the social awareness of 2022, where we are now. Do you think he would? Uh, <laughs> do you think he would acclimate to um, where we are as a society right now? I think most people that have died of old age would have a, a rough go. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, he was a big ordinary magic fan. He really depended on that movie. <laughs> Jack Collins uh, loved Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was a, a l- low baka. Solid, solid choice, low baka. Good, good for you. Okay, so... Table. Now we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Next Generation from Grimward. So should we should we submit that before we watch Grimward's trailer? Um, you know, I kind of I kind of want to. Here's the thing: if Grimward loses, we didn't even say who the other trailer was from. Did those points go to that other person? Do they lose? Does that person gain those points, or do they only either keep or lose their points? They're from the other trailer, they. <laughs> All right. So the trailer we watched, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre we watch now, is the the challenge trailer. Okay. That trailer is to decide 
which Good night, Abby, person out of the two get the points for both trailers. Excellent. I love it. Let's do it. Should we say who the other one is, or do you think that'll influence people's votes? I don't think no, we should I mean, say we, we know we know it's Grim Word is the one side, so okay. let's go with... So let's, the other side... But don't, do you think people's votes would influence knowing who's who? <laughs> like, like, like not the say. chat's so petty. They are! They're like, I know you fucking chat. Fuck this fucking. person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck... You know, like they're they're uh, this isn't who it is, but they're like they're not like fuck oh, Schwingles. So. I fucking fuck that up. How do you stop that? All right, um, let us. But let's just we watch actually this trailer. screwed it up though. Okay, how? We did we get a vote on the on the first one? Um, I'm gonna give it one point, and chat gave right. it fifty eight percent no, so I think chat gave it one point. Okay, I'm going to give it two points, just to make it interesting. Greg, this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre trailer that we saw. See, I feel that like you're okay. giving it two points just to make it interesting, not based on the trailer itself. No, it, wa it was a, a pretty pretty creepy trailer. I, there was some f I liked the Metallica. Okay. I'm going to go one point, only because Metallica, I don't think, was in the trailer. No, no, it was like fake Metallica. I know that. Right, right. But I'm, I'm kind of a Metallica purist. So. Yeah, Shring no, that Shringles. is true. Shringles, were you also trying to challenge here? I'm not sure. Shringles said it wasn't just trailer. Um, all right, we're just doing one challenge at a time. All right, let's, uh, let's play this trailer, Sam. Let's play the challenge. Okay. Uh, wait, no. but wait. What the fuck is a challenge? <laughs> so that was five points to the to the original trailer. Just so you know that that's on the line. What did Greg give it? One. Okay. Right. All right. All right. You ready? Yeah. Gooby Dome. Johnny Pool. Oh, wait, I'm putting this in? Yeah, I don't even know where it is. You said Grimward submitted it. Sorry, I was waiting for you. Oh, oh we're yeah, watching I... the, the, the we're watching the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one, right? Oh, do you want to watch Grimward's trailer first, then? Oh, okay, yeah, let's what, or, I don't know which one. Okay, okay, do you, <laughs> let's see what the points are for. All right, so Grimward submitted 2320, 2321. Um, pick oh, one of those. The, 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 uh, the early one is the one. Let's see what he's wagering, though. Or they are wagering. I don't know if Grimward is uh, presenting as male or female yeah. or NB. But let's just say they have two trailers back to back in the 2320 thing. So which one of those do you want? Uh, it's 2248. Two two four eight. That's not even a. Two, That's two, earlier four, on. Here, I got it. I got it. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Because hold on, let me just say two two four eight. I would have chosen two three two one. Because look at that context. Shringles is not high enough for this shit. That's your problem. All right. I... I don't know, man. All right, you pick it. Go. Nuts. Be a surprise. I, I was just saying this because I was going to pick this movie, like, next. Okay. All right. Do it. It was another day in New York. Robert was moving to Africa. I want to leave because it's gotten too settled. Michael was hating him for it. Thanks for pointing that up so clearly. Shall I murder you now or later? And Nick was dying of AIDS. You know the difference between straight guys and gay guys? Uh, I forget. There isn't it. Parting glances. I don't want him to leave. <laughs> A story of sexuality. You reach puberty, you don't fucking decide which sex you like, you ask your dick. Sometimes when I'm over there, all I can think of is I'm so glad I don't have it. Is that and Susan Boyle? goodbye. 
Do I like you? I love you. <laughs> I'd have to hear her sing. Parting glances, hailed for its superb performances by talented newcomers. I explain why I'm leaving, goddammit. I told you I'll be back. You're leaving because you don't want to be around when Nick dies. You don't want to deal with me going through that. Parting glances, when saying goodbye can be a Whoa, harsh you are reality out of your to face. element. Not fair. You've been in love a bunch. Just once, really. Now he's gone. Steve will scare me. Parting glances. <laughs> this is a weird Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, that? Okay, wow. Bravo. All right. I'm going to go watch that. When do we wrap up? Because I got to go watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would be a fun AIDS movie starring a young Steve Buscemi to uh, watch. Should we watch the other one? Should we not it's vote on this show. and watch the other one? Okay. Uh, it's your show. It just seemed like... It, it, I thought it would be like a funner, like, wild kind of like... Not like a serious AIDS movie, but like a kind of like... People don't really get AIDS, you know, kind of... Like the, the, <laughs> the Ryan White movie. That movie was hilarious. Oh, I don't feel right about this. Uh, uh, oh, I, you know what's funny is, is see this movie here in the background. I just watched this movie. It's great. Boys in the band. Is it a fun AIDS make movie? A fun AIDS movie? I don't know. Good, interesting outlook. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the fun <laughs> AIDS movies I've seen in my life, and I'm coming up short. Zero. I'm not an AIDS denier. <sighs> All right, moving on. I don't think we'll vote on that. Uh, that was great, Steve Buscemi. But the one, this no, is one that I was going to pick. Fun. Okay, here we go. This is one I love as a movie, and this is what I wanted to watch. They were just like everyone else. They dreamed of going to the stars. But uh, unlike everyone else, I know this movie. It's got here? Hawk. They discovered it's got a Hawk. way it's to got, get there. Uh, uh, Riv. 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 Yeah. Dude, Riv is so good. Then I used to play this at the nightclub. We had a projector with a big screen, and I would just project this because it was just an odd movie. <laughs> and it worked. Well, it's a very odd movie. Do you know that like Riv has a romance with an alien in this movie? To find out just how far it's an unspoken it love. Let's face it. Somebody's calling us. Let's go. I, you know what? The funny thing is, of the three of these actors, child actors, the, actors, the third one was very good in this movie. They're here. What does he do now? Rock and roll is the only thing. Go, go, go. And you can hear those just pop all night and all through the day. That's like, yeah, like the spaceship is a bunch of slides. <laughs> the adventure begins in your own backyard. Good one. All right. <laughs> Two AIDS movies was, in a row. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was okay, but that movie didn't have AIDS in it at all. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we're going to vote on that one. I loved it. I think the trailer didn't give me a whole lot. There was, I feel there was more to it. I mean, that was a quick one. That was a minute 30 trailer, uh, but I do love that movie. It's just got like a good adventure vibe to it. I didn't really get a lot of the story, though, so I'm kind of... I'm going to give it one point. Mm. Thematically, though, like, I think it, gonna, it's it's worthy of points. I'm going to go two points uh, because it had two great stars in it. And also because uh, Nate used to show it on the projector. Uh, and well, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah, the the sub theme, the secret theme on on Greg. <laughs> every now and then we'll watch some trailers, and there'll be like some like hidden theme that like just comes to us from the cosmos. Uh, tonight's could be it. All right, so sixty percent yes. So that's two points from chat, one point from me, two points from Greg. Uh, 
One point for me. Six points. All right, so Grimward... One thing to note is that even Joe Dante felt there wasn't enough of a story. There's this whole backstory about production, and they really wanted to develop that third act further. It, it, yeah, it, the third it act like, is like, yeah, it, it really like, it's this like really like interesting story about these kids. Like, it's like very like close encounters of the third kind. They're getting like messages in their dreams. It's like really cool. And then they they get there, and they just are like kind of like walking around the spaceship for a half hour yeah i i remember the first act very clearly the second act is gets a little fuzzy but you know i, I was there for it and then i don't even remember like what that climax of third act or, or where it goes or how the movie ends i don't even remember that um all right so grimward is 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 wagering six points six points six right, points wagering six points on this and next trip in our first ever challenge official in our first official challenge do you are you gonna put it in there because i don't know where it is yeah i'll put it in there i've seen this movie too uh, yeah the the check is chainsaw massacre movie no no oh, oh no i was saying that the the i don't know if the same um thumbnail pops up for you as it does for me but tough guys don't dance it's the thumbnail that for well the pre-trailer trailer oh i like i like okay august 18th 1973 reports of a bizarre chainsaw wielding family began to filter out of central texas then silence for 20 long years nothing further was heard 1995. Prom night isn't turning out the way you expected. You find yourself on the wrong road at the wrong time. About to come face to face with a living nightmare. Welcome to my world. The silence is over. He's dead now. Madness has returned. I, I, I. Four stars, terrifying and brilliant. This is the best horror film of the 90s. Family values have gone straight to hell. Genuinely scary and sharply self-satirical, Leatherface has a lot in common with the gender-bending killer in The Silence of the Lambs. I want these people to know Problematic. of horror. You want scared? Have a look behind you. Long night, boys. I could use a little action. The return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Interesting. So do we have chat vote on this now, or do you get to choose? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Chat votes. It's not us, it's them. Uh, Lobaka is right about Joe Bob Briggs. This, so this movie was directed by Kim Hankel. And Kim Hankel is the writer of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Huge. And this is the only movie Kim Hankel has ever directed. Wow. He was a film reviewer, Grimward says, in a world. Uh, um, I am. I don't want to say anything about the trailer you, to sway votes. I no, I mean we're not gonna vote. We don't have any say, but you can. Ooh, ooh, wow! What are you ooh wowing? The the turnout. Oh, I accidentally. It's closed decided. It. It's decided. 
Trailer two, The Challenger is our winner. Oh. What was the points? Uh, it was 32. What do you mean? What was the points? I didn't see it. I closed the window. I wanted, I wanted to see what the numbers were. Uh, uh, oh, 68% for trailer two. I'm surprised. I, it wasn't a blowout, but like trailer two was so much better. But I feel like there's this like cognitive bias against scream trailers, you know, uh, because they are recut trailers. They're not original trailers. Um, but it was good. Like there, there are some good trailers. Uh, so was, so close six nine. So was so I'll that say, a recut trailer? It. I feel it has to be right. Aren't there all those scream trailers recut trailers? I mean, I um, guess so. If it's got the Joe Bob Briggs, uh, um, the second trailer did also, give more of an atmosphere. It did feel more like uh, Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The movie itself, I feel like, is almost like a parody of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You know. Um, well, here's the thing. I think that that uh, the the thing that I didn't appreciate was that the second trailer went as far as like changing the image cha changing the image quality to make it look more like a film trailer it made it look like an older movie than it was and that's cheating yeah yeah i could agree um i i do feel they painted it just it I don't know. It, it was a great trailer. It was a really good trailer, but I feel it was... I mean, I guess if you're calling it a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, which it is, you are playing on the fact that people will see it because they like the older movie. Uh, the first trailer was truer. It made... It, the first trailer felt... I've seen that movie, and I thought it was bad. And the first trailer is like that movie. So the second trailer makes it seem more like... Um, <clears throat> more like a, 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 a real Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. I don't know what I'm saying. Greg, what do you think? I think that uh, I, I would definitely... Wait, what exactly am I voting on? He's not voting on anything. <laughs> oh, then I, I think it's uh, unfortunately past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been asleep since I picked out the Airborne trailer. <clears throat> yeah, um, uh, la last trailers, everybody. Okay, so I will say this. The first trailer, a few people were like, that was mine, that was mine. A lot of people did submit this. The first trailer was submitted by Niamix. So Niamix's points, however many those were. I think uh, five. Five are now adding into Grim Words six. So... Um, You've got some points there. So we'll do last trailers because um, it is getting late. Uh, Greg, um, I think it might be on you, sir. I just put Grimward's oh, name down in that trailer. Okay. To hand those uh, points over. Oh, but couldn't you just add them into the one that he... Okay. No, yeah, it's fine. But, okay, so we're not voting on the, the second one because we could have just taken the points away... It's okay. We're good. So I haven't seen every episode of Trailer Boy, so it's hard for me. I don't want to what? necessarily pick. I don't want to pick stuff that's already been seen. However, um, Do I don't know. I was thinking about this trailer. It's number 2357. And again, I just want to shout out everyone in the chat because uh, all your fans are just so amazing. I think you're getting good comments right now. And also, Nate. Sam, thank you guys for having me on Trailer Boys because uh, this has just been great. I mean, this is fucking fantastic. You know what? A lot of I, I thank you for coming on the show. A lot of people hit us up and they're like, are they going to do Sports Boys again? And I'm like, I don't know. Sam does a lot of shows and he's teaching two classes a week. Greg is also busy with his manifesto. Oh, I'm super busy. I got, uh, but I do have this teddy bear that uh, Sam Brown oh. gave me one time. Uh, and, um, you know, you bring up sports boys, it's a great show. And, uh, I'm just happy anytime I come on the, uh, WK UK channel. And again, shout out to all the awesome people in the chat. Shout out to you at home. Thank you. Rondo for bear WK UK chat and Sam, Rajan thank you. Rondo. 
for this Rondo bear you got me in LA in a claw machine uh, 12 years ago. <laughs> That's what's up. Sam got me this in LA. Why was there a Rondo bear in LA? Who knows? I, I don't know. Are you ready for Greg? You ready for your pick? This is huge, guys. Everyone in the chat, get ready and uh, don't hold back on this one. This is gigantic. Atlantic. Ooh. Jason Bateman. Well, that's who it is. <laughs> he is Teen Wolf yeah. 2. Todd Howard is a regular guy. All right. Bye. With a couple of problems. You just hit me with a dead frog. Jerk. Just oh, like his off. cousin Scott. Feeling a little furry in there, buddy? The good news are they, are they, he's know, going to college. Guy. This fine young man carries our hopes and dreams into the ring. The bad news is college boxing is huge. And when you do change, yeah. I'm going to be there to take you straight to the top. I don't howl. Now, you don't see any fangs, do you? By this challenge, it's something else. It's not going to happen. The music is so good. <laughs> oh, I remember that part. Yeah, it's sexy. <laughs> It's a sexy fun. Oh, I remember the dance. The uh, choreographed dance. To all your problems yeah. is staring you right in the face. Uh, Team Wolf 2. Change uh, boy. Okay, they're like, we can't not make a sequel to Team Wolf. But yeah. I also feel like when I was a when like that movie is the first that like utilized the T-O-O. They're like, wink, he's also a Gene Wolf. <laughs> I think it's funny that that the the guy that played Francis in Pee Wee's uh, Big Adventure, that he went to high school with a werewolf, and then goes to college with another guy that's yeah. also a werewolf. Like, what a weird life! What he was hell? in both of them. Think this is this yeah. is a weird coincidence. No, yeah, well, they, he, they were cousins. They're cousins. Yeah, they are yeah. cousins. <clears throat> but like, maybe yeah, he was it's, held back. I went to high school with your cousin and he was a werewolf. It was wild. He played basketball. It was weird. Uh, oh, you're a werewolf too? You should box because that's really popular in high school. Who already did uh, basketball? I My my favorite uh, thing about Teen Wolf 2 is that when it was coming out on video, <laughs> Nate, <laughs> Nate uh, uh, our aunt brought us to the video store to rent a movie, and they had these cardboard masks of wolf masks. And we had a little white we had a little white dog growing up, and we we came home from the video store with these wolf masks, and we ran in like little kids, and we we're like, Wah! and our dog freaked out, ran behind a chair, and just started pissing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's like, not Teen Wolf 2. <laughs> oh, no. Teen Wolf 2s are She's real. Like, oh, you didn't get it on VHS, did you? <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh, my God. We did. I think I saw that movie in the theaters. I was like four. Oh, poor dog. It's okay. She's dead now. Not from that. She did. She, she died was, much, much later. <laughs> and much more. It's so horrible. funny because the first movie with Michael J. Fox is high school basketball. And they're like, how can we up the ante and raise the stakes? College <laughs> boxing. So yeah. someone said he he was already famous from Hogan's family. Didn't true. Which I just learned. I I had no way. I was a big Hogan's family fan when I was a kid. But that was that was the the second iteration of that show because it was uh, it was something Valerie's else. Valerie's family. It was Valerie. Yeah, it, was it was just called family. Valerie. No, I think it was just called Valerie. Okay, and uh, yeah, Bateman was on that show. You were really a Hogan head, and you don't remember Bateman? How dare you? Yeah, no, I was no, it was a Hogan. He was on both, but. Uh, because in Valerie, apparently there was some contract dispute in second season. They were like, yeah, Valerie died. 
<laughs> no, yeah. it's about. Uh, Wait, I thought this... the actress actually died. No, no, I think it was a, 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 Sandy a contract dispute. Sandy Duncan contract dispute. Yeah. So it wasn't was like Sandy Duncan that. the one that came in afterwards? That was like the Wait, sister. Oh, oh. oh, I can't remember the order. <clears throat> Let me look. I this thought it up. was like Valerie's family, and then it was just like. Oh, yeah, family. I think it was Valerie's family, and then it was the Hogan's, right? But I thought that the original no, actress it was, was the wife. Family. Uh, well, I gotta go, guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I got nowhere to go. I'm kidding. Uh, it starred. Oh, oh wait, uh, Valerie Harper. Huge. Oh yeah, that's, not Bert and Nelly. That's who played Sandy Valerie Duncan. on, and Sandy Duncan already was playing Sandy Hogan. But did Valerie Harper get fired, or did she die in real life? Uh, Valerie Harper. Uh, she. Ooh, she died in real life three years ago. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. So we're kind of yeah. both right then. Okay. We're kind of both. She <laughs> has died. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I, I give that one. Uh, I give it a point. It's fun. I give it two points. I don't think chat liked it though. I think I, I think they gave it a sixty-five percent no, but I can't tell if that was a no or a yes. I bet a lot of people got all hung up on the the whole like well he's already famous thing but here's what i'll say it's like there was a period where jason bateman was not famous like he was famous then he was not famous then he was famous again i'm gonna say this counts again we weren't being like super nerds about it it wasn't like he was this huge guy you know so he wasn't all right jason bateman and hogan's family wasn't as big as michael j fox was from what was that one what was that show he was in uh family ties. family ties family ties yeah he was more famous from family ties than jason bateman was from the hogan thing okay uh, and wasn't his sister justine bateman in family ties yeah yeah oh, oh yeah. and then they both became the teen wolves oh yeah, yeah. crazy um okay um two points Greg, what, what did you give that? The Teen Wolf 2? I'm going to give that one point. Okay. And I'll then Sam gave it one point. That's four points from us. And I think chat either gave it one point or two points. I did really family tie that together. It's... <laughs> Wait, you said AIDS? Yeah, I thought that was your secret theme of the night. So I was just, <laughs> I was trying to move it along. All right, all right. So I think we each have one more and there are so many for me to pick. And I'm like, oh no, oh, this one. Oh yeah, yeah, that one's cool. Um, again, it's a lot of people are like, <laughs> a, a lot of newer Trailer Boys fans are like, you never pick my movies. But, um, uh, you know, a few of these people... Uh, 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 you know, it's a lot of a lot of the context here. I do see a friend of mine in real life submitted Magic by Anthony Hopkins. We've we've watched Magic and it has won before, so that's why I won't be watching that. So Magic Johnson, it's 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 a creepy <laughs> doll <dog. laughs> that shows on tonight. Yeah, what'd you think of that show, Sam? I hey. fell asleep during it. <laughs> really? Oh wow. Okay. Uh. Um, Sam, what are you going with? What are you picking here? Yeah, what's the deal? What's the deal? Right, I'm uh, going to go with mine. I'm going to go with mine because I actually have seen this, um, I think. And then, Sam, you pick one. Okay, I got it. You can pick however many you want. It's your style. BMX Bandits. Wild in the streets in a high-flying ride to adventure. It's thrills and spills. If you haven't seen this, fun. oh, you have seen it? Some real past. Yeah, I, I watched it once. It's amazing, 
Rage Was that the whole trailer? Really? Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, it's another it's trailer? Back to back? BMX bandits. Uh, Wild in the streets, in the yeah. chase to end all chases. It's throttles and spills. It's fast and furious fun. If There's you say something's in the streets, I'm always expecting you to follow it up with something in the sheets, you know? <laughs> okay, let me say this. I, I, if you blinked, you would have missed it. That's the one frame... That it's Nicole Kidman. She's got like red curly hair. Not She's not in why? the trailer. Why? Like, there's like, does this count? Like, good God, I, I noticed her. All right. Nice. That's yeah. That's people saw this movie and they were like, "Hey, she'd be a good Lucy." <laughs> <laughs> From what? Uh, that movie is crazy. Lucy really and Desi. Poorly. It's really poorly put together, and Nicole Kidman, er, it's not her best work. Wait, or er, er, what's the movie called? Is that it? Being the Ricardos. Being the Ricardos, that's what it is, yeah. I liked it. I liked Being the Ricardos. You've seen it, and you didn't know what movie I was talking about when I said she'd make a good Lucy? That's a I didn't even know that was her. I didn't even know she was in that movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> you that's thought they that was CG, they brought Lucy back? She killed it. She killed it. Loved it. Um, okay. So I like the trailer, so I'm going to give it a point, but I'm not going to give it two points because it like barely has Nicole Kidman in it. I know. And she's only in the yeah. second trailer, which I think is like, let's show a girl, you know, she's in, she's a main character in the movie. She's all in the movie. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll give it a point. I like because I like the font. You know, I'm I'm big on the fonts. I also just like it's like these BMX kids just riding everywhere, like golf carts, street, uh, down water slides with our bikes. Like, why the fuck are they doing that? That's stupid. <laughs> I know. Why was like BMX bikes like such a like symbol of like rebellion in 1983? It's like it's a stupid bike. And Bidding the says 80s? there are better trailers for it. I didn't see anyone submit it, so I feel like when we challenge for the, for future... <gasps> Wait a minute. Somebody did submit another trailer for this. Huge. But I haven't seen them in the chat, so I don't think they're challenging. But going forward, when we do challenge trailers, it's got to be something you've already submitted. Not like, there's a better trailer for that, let me find it. It's got to be one yeah. of your three trailers, okay? All right. <clears throat> so, chat said no. That's one point. So, that's four points. And that is... <clears throat> excuse me. That is going to... The Alien Works. Four points. Okay. Um, Sam. It's Last all trailer of the night. <clears throat> Unless you feel that we need another one. I don't want to put the pressure uh, on you. Probably not. It's getting late. It's getting late. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <clears throat> I like this yeah. so far, I'll say. Go on. <laughs> oh. Oh, why is this hand on us? Sneak on back to the campsite. Get some matches. Build us a hot fire. Don't be wrong. And if you're thinking about being with someone but no one can see you. She's like, don't be long. I'd rather you be more girthy. Because this summer, a legend of terror isn't just a campfire story anymore. They say he smashed his way through the bunk room door in just a mass of flames. I cried out. I will return. I will have my revenge. Is that Chainsaw? He lives on whatever From summer did. school? Right now, he's out there. He looked like a uh, guy from Fast Times. What happened one summer five years ago is about to happen again, and again, and again. Grimward, you're not sharing the points. Sam chooses the points. The burning. The burning? Ooh, that's a good Wait, good. what? But Shouldn't it be did, the cutting? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, did you see the, did you see the person? No. It's right here, but... 
Is it uh, Freddy Krueger? Right there in that, that green shirt. Uh, it's that guy from Anchorman? Who is that? I don't know. You're right. Let's watch it one more time. Summer, if you're planning to go camping, don't. Oh, my God. It was quick, but Jason Alexander. <laughs> oh, no fucking way, dude. No way, dude. No way. He's living yeah. the summer of George right there. <laughs> oh my god he's like yada 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 i was in the burn and, and holly hunters in this too it's co-written by harvey weinstein you're kidding problematic me, rapist? that guy oh my <laughs> the rapist god. harvey weinstein he really problematic. wow that's shocking holy shit Problematic as fuck. He was the murderer. If you're looking forward Why is it called the burning and they just keep showing those scissors? <laughs> what was up with this hand? It's called like the snipping or the cutting. That took it makes there, no oh, sense. Terror. No there sense. was shrinkage. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I was in the pool. <laughs> I was in the lake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bris. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, George Costanza, man, that's huge. I give this as many points as possible. Wow. I thought this was it. I was like, was this that singer? Um, walking in Memphis. I thought that was him. Oh, yeah. I was like, was Maybe. Him? Mark Cohn. Bruce Hornsby? No, neither of those. Oh, I guess I don't uh, know uh, Michael. Uh, Michael um, Bolton. Yes, ladies Bolton, Twitch. Michael yes. Bolton. I thought it was Michael Bolton. I was like, is that who it is? Okay. Uh, I didn't even sorry. see Let's Holly see. Hunter in that movie. Is she in the trailer at all? She is so. I, 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 I love it when people in the context, like in the theme, would put the timestamp of what we're looking for in the theme. I love when people do that. Ugh. All right. Good people. You have such good fans here on Trailer Boys. Hey, you out there. Thank you for watching Trailer Boys. We still I voting, it. Greg. Why got your trailer? I don't know. I go to bed just, yet. I just like to stop and give it up to your. He family. wants to go to bed. He, if he wants to go to bed, he can a, go to that, bed. That's a small to part of it too. But the big part of it is, I just like to stop the show and tribute to your fans and just hijack things a little bit. Now go on. You can go. No, no. It's uh, I, I agree with you. Without the without people without Gooby Wood without everyone watching submitting trailers, we wouldn't have a show. Yes. We would not have a show. Yes, I love this view because. You got the a great setup here. It's like we're sitting on a couch together. I love it. Okay, uh, so we got we got five movies here. We I'm, got I'm going to give the burning a point, though. Do we vote on the burning? Uh, oh yeah, do we vote? I'm going to give it two still points. Voting. That's two from you, one from me, three. Greg, what do you think of the burning? Okay, here's the deal. It is extremely problematic because it was written by one of the most notorious criminals of this century. <laughs> I still got to give it a three, though, because it featured a young George Costanza. Or two. Two. <laughs> two, two, two. Okay. Two, two. So that's five from us. And ooh, just edged out two from chat. That's seven points total. Um, and who did that go to, Sam? That goes to Scott nine one five seven five. Panini Sweetie Scott. says, "I'm sure Greg Johnson has a whole identity of his own, but Greg Johnson just makes me miss the flagship because both were about white nationalism." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also wait, miss the flagship. Uh, wait, what was what? What was that? What? Uh, how many? Yeah. You have no idea. You have no idea. Seven points, Sam. Seven points. Okay. Okay, let us do trailer of the week while we talk about, and Greg, this is where we really need your input for themes, um, theme ideas. This is where Sam kind of jazzes it up and puts it together and really like births some stuff. And, and this is where you guys can, but first, Sam, okay. I got, I, I trailer got of the it's week, trailer of the week, uh, Critters three coach. Cyborg 2, Ordinary Magic, and then uh, 
Do we want monster in the closet or the burning? What do you think? Of those two, I'm going to say monster in the closet. But we yeah, also keep too. it up this far. All right. Just do monster in the closet. Um, now, there's a theme that we've... I don't believe that we've done that well, we've tried well, before before we get into the theme let me just say too that there we have a lot of people that watch and they don't have chat open and they're working or they put it on their TV and they don't have chat open they're like I don't vote because we'll have like Ooh, a couple hundred Grimmer people watching just drops and memes hey Grim Reeks and memes but then we only have a couple people voting. We don't have nearly as many people voting as watching. Now is the time. We have a three-minute poll up. Now is the time to stop what you're doing, open chat up, click the drop down, and then vote on what you think should be winner. I think it should be coach. But that's what I'm going to vote for. You vote for what you thought the best trailer of the week was. So with that being said, Greg, this is where Sam workshops what the theme for next week is and okay. there is something some ideas okay there is something that you've been talking about do that you've wanted to do that has not won the theme when we used to vote on it that two of these movies directly inspire college girl no wait high school girls in bathing suits <laughs> close i mean high school movies <clears throat> yeah didn't you want to do high school movies and we never I, did it i think high school movies is such a good category because it's fucking it's there's so much there but i know you also like to give very specific themes so high school movies could be too wide of a category no i think Penwell, high school movies is great penwell says prom that's interesting high school movies you would just want to do wide high school movies so movies about high school not just kids in high school I, it has I, to be like I think you I think either you go just general movies about kids in high school or you make it more specific like <laughs> movies about kids in high school who travel back in time to 1955 no, I, I think high school's good, actually. High school's good. Am I still on? <laughs> Shout out to everyone in the chat. I love these Trailer Boys fans. <laughs> I don't know where Sam went. I, I don't know if he got upset. Um, he... he I, I can't. He, he made all the framing weird, so it's just you now. So uh, Shout out to he, Lobaka. <laughs> killing it in the game and paul walker's brother it's so amazing that we had a paul walker trailer uh with paul walker's brother in the chat tonight shout out to all of you <laughs> i think we lost sam huh no Sam's i'm back. here with the framing is still weird i don't, I don't know what happened i'm here i ruined resident it resident steve thinks no. i'm the only one left on the thing <laughs> grim world <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, what? Problematic. Is the winner. The winner is Critters 3. It beat Ordinary Magic by two points. That's huge. That's absolutely gigantic. I, two points. I can't believe wow. I screwed up things this bad by hitting the hide my stop my video thing like the how is that possible because my window didn't even disappear um i think when you hit mute your video it changed your position because now greg is where you were and i don't know if i can you know oh, what oh. i think i think we got to focus can, on you what can matters drag these most. right yeah i yeah, think I, we got to focus on what matters that. most and that's that everyone in the chat loved me tonight guys uh i got a lot sure. of great feedback in the chat and everyone's gonna follow me on instagram at the right. greg johnson thank you uh great I, i'm just saying back in the chat tonight high school movies like which one was sequel to it critters three critters three i liked coach coach was my pick of the night yeah, that's a great pick, Nate. That that trailer blew my mind. Uh, can we get the alternate ending? Okay. 
of the show of our show (laughs) yeah Uh, that could have happened or all i'm saying is is high school movies is fun uh we've wanted it for years and now that i'm giving it to you you're like i don't want this no i just lately your your picks have been very very focused so i thought you would have but hey i mean i'm into it i've been wanting i think high school movies are great um i, I do want to point out i don't think what would you want just instead of anything. before they were stars you would want just like stars no, I, no, you're no, like, no, this is too specific before they are stars. Why can't it just be famous people? <laughs> right? That's what everyone wants. Um, oh, Flanja did submit. We didn't choose. I didn't, Flanja, I didn't not choose you in on purpose. I just didn't pick it. Oh, wow. You're just not, you're just not grabbing me in the context this week. Grab me by the context oh, balls. Oh, I, I almost picked that. But. All right. Yeah. It's fine. We can save it for later. Um, I'll, I will All take right, a look at the points. I know people were saying the lead award doesn't seem right. Um, I'll look into it. All right. And I'm going to raid. Uh, would you rather do music or Elden Ring? I rated Sixler last night. I can rate him again. Don't do or Elden Or we could Ring. do Very Handsome Billy. Let's do something more fun. Or Wizard World. <clears throat> uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Uh, I'll do Very Handsome Billy. I haven't rated him in a while. Okay. Mm. Or Greg, uh, again. you can pick out someone for us to raid too. <laughs> Mr. McDrizzle Fizz. Uh, thanks for hanging out, Greg. Principal roles. They're cool. Guys, su- They're cool. suggest to Greg who they should raid. Say raid this person, and then Greg, you pick it. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Just such tremendous feedback. I gotta wear this is amazing. Um uh let's see uh principal roles away stork away wrong priority that was the oh oh it says raid autumn plot autumn plays greg autumn plays adam right. plays adam, adam plays. plays i love you too lydia petunia this is, this is a blind raid for adam plays thanks Hopefully lydia he's- Playing a game and not a white nationalist. And my thanks again to, to everyone in the chat. further a joke. Paul Walker's brother, Chow Knives 7, Principal Rolls, Grim World. Have fun watching. Nate. Adam Grim plays. Word. Grim Word. Oh, Grim Word. I'm sorry, Nate. <laughs> Nike. Sam does it too. I love uh, it. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.